Shalom. It's time to do, 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 do. All right. All right. All right. All right. We are here today for a simple, simple reason. We're going to be playing some Yu-Gi-Oh today. For the first time ever, really, we are going to be playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Now, I, I kind of have tried Yu-Gi-Oh in the past, but I have never really gotten into it or understand it, to be honest. I've tried several times. I first started with a Game Boy game. That is where I played the most Yu-Gi-Oh in my time on Earth. And I'm going to be honest, I don't understand the mechanics. But I had a good time in this Game Boy game. And so later on, when they released Master Duel, I was like, ah, this is a great opportunity for me to jump in and really give a good stab into Yu-Gi-Oh! to learn it. Because I watched the anime, the anime was a good time. I didn't watch everything, but I had a good time with it, and it was really interesting. So I decided, let's jump into it. And then there was a lot of reading, there was linking, and there was, there was corners and, and arrows, and I didn't understand. So I fell out of it. I hollowed out, if you might say in Soul's terms. But today, we are going to be jumping back in because, honestly, a, a friend of mine, a content creator, uh, he, Sanak, he's actually doing a series where he's jumping into it and learning uh, Master Duel, learning Yu-Gi-Oh! through Master Duel. And so I'm like, ah, you know what? It'd be kind of fun. And I've been pulling some deck builds recently. You know, I've been jumping back into Magic Arena a tiny bit, not really too much. I've been playing some Marvel Snap. I've been playing the new Dragon Ball Super card game fusion world which i enjoy a lot and we were tempted to stream some of that today but i decided you know what let's try another deck builder and see how it goes now this might become a normal monday thing a a monday morning master duel type of thing i don't know i'm not quite sure yet but we'll see because i still like my rogue mondays i love getting to do rogue likes this monday like in the monday mornings Ugh, it's such a good time and we haven't done that in a bit and so you know, it would be nice to do that, but maybe we might do separate streams. We might have like separate times. So a little bit of time to do some master duels, do some dueling, and then we can do some roguelikes. I, I will figure it out. But right now, we're going to jump to a new series. I'm excited for this. I'm a little worried. We do have a account. We have my one account that I jumped into master duels and I looked at it. I did literally the first tutorial and then I was like, you know what? I'm out. <laughs> Uh, so today we're obviously going to redo that tutorial. We're going to act as if we have just played the game for the first time ever. And so we're going to full on dive into it, learn it. And a little caveat, a little challenge, and this is from Dragon Ball Super Future World card game, is I did end up spending money on that game. And I've seen some people are going around, they're like, ah, let's do a free to play challenge and all that. And I can't take a part of that, but I kind of would. So... I think I'm going to try to be free to play with this adventure through Yu-Gi-Oh and see how it goes. Maybe we'll crumble at some point and pay money, but for right now, we're going to try to jump in and learn the game and try to play and have some fun with Yu-Gi-Oh without spending money. But we'll see how it goes. Sounds good? Sounds fun? I think it'll be great. Christian Righteous Gamer, God is good. Amen. I agree. I agree. Let me get everything all set up. We are listening to some Yu-Gi-Oh! Lo-Fi from TGS Anime. That YouTuber. Shout out to him for his good sounding music. Alright. I'm drinking my coffee for the first time. I think we are going to redress because we can't just <laughs> now here's the thing i i can't i can't just look like this i look like some kind of joe schmo i don't look like a dueler now if i know anything from Yu-Gi-Oh, it's the weird anime-esque designs in the game and you know what that's some of the best parts of the anime america guy with american bandana who doesn't have a gun but fingers pointing out at a guy's head that's great that's a good time so, we got to get dressed up for Yu-Gi-Oh. We got to look the part. We are Pig Guy. Isn't there a, wig, a, bit, a bug guy named Weevil? We'll be Piggle. No, we'll be Bacoblin. 
That's not from anything else. All right, now I feel ready. Now I feel ready. Let's get the game going. Let's get it up. We do not have all day to jump into this master duel because we might we might do some roguelikes today, but probably not. Probably not. We're probably gonna start playing this, and then I'm gonna be like, I'm sucked in. I must play more. Whoa! Let me stop the music. Yeah, you hear that? Get used to that track. That track gets used a lot. <laughs> I do need to make it bigger. One second. Here's the thing. Small thing. Small thing about this. When I had to download this, it was downloading it and then kind of like this. I couldn't stop the music. The music was just this on loop. It was crazy. All right. Let's go find settings so that we can make this a normal size. A pro gamer size. 1280 to 720? Nah. Nah. There we go. I will say, even though this is the one soundtrack I know, this soundtrack has been droned into my brain. So I don't hate it, but boy, it has been droned. Also, I was supposed to check something before I dove in. We will be looking up decks. I heard the one bright side about this game. Um, and I mostly learned it through critiques of Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball Super card game future world is the fact that early on once you do the stuff you get a good amount of uh, gems and from that you can actually build it like a pretty good deck or a solid deck which will be important for us since um, I am wanting to build a deck so we'll have to look up decks in the future um, anything to note as you can see our names right up here scrub we're level two uh, again, that is only because I wish it showed the date we started. That would have been kind of cool. Um, let's see. If we go to solo, I think. If you go to solo, you'll see tutorial complete. If we go over to tutorial, <laughs> you'll see the only progress we have made is by doing this tutorial. And then I was out. I tapped out. I was like, you know what? Maybe I'm good. Maybe I'm good. So we're going to be doing this right off the bat. We're going to be doing this solo mode for a bit to, to learn the mechanics. Maybe getting some, some more gems. Um, but first off, we have a bunch of notifications. If you look especially to the left, look. Woo! It's a lot of notifications. Uh, so we're going to want to deal with those. So first, rookie returner campaign. Is this for check campaign? It's like inviting a friend. You get some effect or something, probably. I don't know. Notifications. Boy, there has been a lot of notifications since I last touched this game. Uh, do I need to worry about all this? Wow. From uh, February 10th, 2023. So at least a year ago. Okay. Do I need to worry about this? I don't think so. That is going to bug me, though. I am somebody who gets bugged by, like, all the red marks that don't matter to me. All right. Let, let's press all these. Wait. Can I just move to the side? I can. Oh, that's great. Let me get through all of these real quickly. Let me get through all of these real quickly. All right. I don't know everything that's going on. One thing that I do like about a uh, online card game, and I know this doesn't quite work because this also has like a physical copy, uh, but I like online copies, online cards, only in the fact that they can actually be patched. And that's kind of cool, actually. It's a unique situation for a card game to be able to like, oh, this is actually a problem card that we didn't realize was going to be a problem. Oh, sorry about that. Let's actually change that. <laughs> All right. I'm just gonna click through all this I'm not I'm not reading all this because I don't know how how much is this is actually relevant which isn't so we're just gonna get through all this just for my mental sake how's everybody doing is this what you thought we would be doing at the beginning of, of master duel you thought we would be dueling <laughs> how naive I am excited to get into this game I really am I am a little afraid I won't lie, I'm a little bit afraid, and that's mostly due to what happened last time. Because I was pretty excited to jump in last time. 
Um, but I'm pretty afraid to jump in and then have the same situation happen where it's like, Oh, this is a bit much. I'm good. And that might happen. This might be the the one and only video of Master Duel. Okay. For a second, I thought I didn't get it. I was like, what the heck? Why? All right. There's one thing I want to check really quick. Everybody vibe out. Vibe out. Vibe out. Everybody hold. Hold. I'm not quite learning what I was hoping to learn. I'm going to be honest. All right, we'll figure out. It doesn't matter. All right. There was one thing that I got because I checked this out last night. I did check this out last night. And so I did get one thing. I got some kind of pack. It was like a gift box. Is it, would it be in the gift box? I want a receipt. Let me show off what. I also, this music is getting loud. Maybe not too loud, but it, it's getting there. Quality high. I can handle it. We're gonna find out that I can't. Full screen. Card side text. Was that a bad idea? Vibrations on! I'm not using controller. Dual, self chain, audience. I guess we could jump in and we'll find out. All right, first off, we gotta check out the shop, obviously. About the shop, you can purchase cards, decks, uh, structured decks, bundle deals, accessories, and items at the shop. You can switch the items displayed with tabs on the top left hand side. Pack. Choose from the selection packs for specifically curated cards or the master packs, which contains thousands of different cards. You might even encounter a special hidden card pack if you're lucky. Structured deck. Decks ha that have been pre-built. Recommend for beginner and players who want to start dueling straight away. That is us. Bundle deals. We do not care about bundle deals. That means spending money. Value sets that come with card packs and bonus cards. For example, a bundle deal could include 10 card packs and one bonus you are, such as Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring. Whoa. I don't know if that's good, though. Dual pass. This item allows you to earn gems, accessories, card craft points, etc. by dueling and raising your grade. A battle pass, you might call. Alright. Let's take a look. Return of the King. Ooh, I know that movie. Good movie. Is that my avatar? Can I get a good avatar? That is, that is essential. Master pack? Alright. There was something we got. Your ticket? Let me see. I got signed it up today. Ah, this is what I got. Second anniversary tick, expiration days. Ugh. Uh, we got a duelist cup reward ticket. Zero. Oh, is this from, I don't know, from last season? I don't know, like season pack. We got none of these. Is that what it's selling me? You will be redirected to the cup. Do you wish? It? No. Okay. It's kind of cool. It's like, oh, if I want that reward, go to the thing. Oh, wait. Take me to the thing then. Will you be re you will be redirected to the second anniversary pack? Do you wish to proceed? Yes. I want to look at it. We're not gonna pull it yet. We gotta do our work first. Alright, a special grade pack celebrated the second anniversary of Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. That can be purchased with a second anniversary ticket. You can get one of the featured UR cards with a royal finish. I don't know what that means. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I'm a simple man. I am a simple man, so if we can get like a dragon deck or something like that, that would be pretty cool. That will be pretty cool. Those are the main cards that I care about. I know what I am. 
And I'm fine with that. I'm not saying I'm scaly. That's not, that's not, that's not what I was referring to. That is not what I was saying. Accessories. Look, we could have a little dino dude chilling with us. We could have a blue eyes, white dragon chilling. We could have toads. Actually, the toads look. <laughs> they look really silly. Why? Why is there two toads? And why is there like a little, little, what is that called? Two toads, a parent and a child. They have skin as white as rice cake. And they have a tendency to bring back various things of nowhere. I like the orange on the child's back. I was going to say orange, but then I felt like it was going to be like something else that looks like an orange, but not actually an orange. And I was going to be the one who looked silly. I proved them wrong. All right, I do like this. I hope, I have a feeling it's a no, but I do hope there is a way to earn at least some of these on your own. Because the battle map does matter. These are less important, right? Accessories. They're just like the little avatar dude that's like right by your battlefield. That's not as important. Definitely if you play the game a lot, then like sure, sure, I guess. But it's still technically not valuable. What's this? Wallpaper? It is. Okay. I don't care about a wallpaper. I must buy it. <laughs> I have so many gems. I would never be uh, front loaded with a bunch of gems and then, then spend them all and then instantly barely get any gems and not be able to build anything. That'd be silly. All right. Let's. Uh, we have duel. Hmm. About the duel battle menu better with players all over the world and compete for the top spot as the strongest duelist about the duel menu rank duels climb through the ranks of rankings by participating in lots of duels you could also earn rewards according to your rank casual match enjoy duels against random opponents using your favorite deck duel room gather your friends and get your game on you can also duel according to different rules team battle team up with your three with your friends and enjoy a 3v3 or 5v5 duels Ooh, that seems fun events take part in limited time tournaments with special rules cool don't hate that that's pretty cool pretty cool pretty cool we're not touching it yet we're not allowed off the docket all right i did shop because there's an exclamation mark there is still an exclamation mark and it's gonna drive me nuts all right Oh, one thing I should have shown. If we go to our decks, we do have two decks. Do I know them? No. We have a starting deck, and then we have a power of the dragon. So I assume we did, we get one. This is our starter deck. And then when we did our first tutorial, we got to choose out of three decks, I think is how they did it. And I'm, we did dragons because I think I made it clear. I like, I like dragons. I think they're cool. I think they're a fun little fantastical dragon. Uh, does it matter? We can look down here. Public deck search. That's pretty cool. If you find someone else's deck, that'd be kind of cool. List of structured decks. Is that just the decks that we have? <laughs> Display not owned. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, there's so many! Oh, okay. I thought I would scroll more, to be honest. I have been let down. But those are, the, like, the structured decks. So those, these are decks that are pre-built that I could probably buy. If I want to look into one, I'm like, oh, this actually works. If I looked up, what works in the meta right now if we're new to play player? And then I could find one of these and be like, all right, let's start there. Or we could just build a deck. Either way. But we'll need currency for that. So for right now, let's do solo. Let's learn the game and hope it gives us some credits. This first one won't give us any credits because it already has taken So. We're not going to worry about it, but let's do tutorial. Let's learn the basics of Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Let's do it. All right, we got practice. Start it off. All right, practice duel. Learn how to play Master Duel. Here you'll learn how to summon monsters and use spell cards. See, you get you get curtsy for playing, for playing the tutorial. I like that. I love it. You are going second. Does going second mean I win? All right. Duel. Reduce your opponent's life points, LP to zero. Got it. I always find it funny. I always find it funny 
when games do the extra zeros that don't matter. I always think it's so funny. It it's I get why, because it seems like a crazier, cooler, fun, fantastical idea. Instead of it being 20 and this being 15. Silly. Alright. Back in by the world, chalice. I didn't read what it says. Oh, let's have a monster. Alright, we're taking it. Beckoned by the world. Chalice? His battle with the Mechanicalites never seemed to end. Even when the forest was invaded by the Mechanicalites insects, he stood his ground and other inspired the others, the other defenders around him. Alright, a lot of lore that doesn't matter. Do I need to move my camera at all? That's always the hard part with games, right? <laughs> That's not supposed to be moved. Alright. Can I just be up here? I saw I saw one person all the way over here, and we could do that. We could do that. We'll just have to do, flip my camera, which I do not like. I do not like flipping my camera. Same my eye. Same I am. Oh gosh, actually this might be too complicated. I think where I was was actually fine. We could be right down here after that. Kind of cute. We'll learn if that's a problem in the future. All right. But yeah, he's a basic dude. I oh one last thing to iterate. I should have mentioned this before. Card games, other card games I have played. I mentioned Matt. I mentioned that I've been playing Marvel Snap recently. I mentioned that I've been playing other games like. Dragon Ball Super Card Game Future World, which is a good game that I enjoy, but does need some help. But other games I have played of deck builders have been Pokemon. I have played the Pokemon TCG, and I have played a lot of Magic the Gathering, mostly because of Commander. So, those are my knowledge stance. So let's learn. So let's summon a monster. Summon. It's like a position beckoned. It's like a position for beckoned. All right, in the middle. He's an 18 boy. You can only summon once per turn. Let's proceed to the battle phase and try attacking. All right, we have to switch to battle. Got it, got it, got it. Let's try attacking the monster. All right, click our boy, we click attack, and then boom. I assume normally it'll let me know which one I can pick. To damage, you would flick to your opponent's life points is equal to the amount of your monster's attack exceeds your opponent's monster's attack. Trample? Did someone say trample? End your turn. Will do. Alright, draw phase. Standby phase. You mean your upkeep? Alright, 18, 17. Draw. Smashing ground. Got it, got it, got it. You've drawn a spell card. Activate the spell card. Is it a sorcery or an instant? Alright, smashing ground. Normal spell. It says, destroy the face-up monster your opponent controls that has the highest defense your choice if tied. Alright, let's activate its effect. Alright, we. I guess we need a spot to play it, which is kind of interesting. If we're all filled up with trap cards. Maybe? Alright. Spell cards are primarily used during your turn. Let's proceed to the battle phase and try attacking. Alright. Can we use can we can we use that spell in battle or no? Or is it only in our main phases? You can attack even if your opponent has no monsters. Attack! You fool! Yay, we have won our very first duel! <laughs> All right, got it. So summon a monster, you can hit him. Uh, any attacking points goes over. Got it, you can play spells on your turn. It seems like there was no cost. That's the most interesting part, is the cost of this game. Uh, the cost of getting out creatures. I think we're learning it right now with these stars. All right, reduce your opponent's life points to LP to zero. Got it, I got it. Let's try using a trap card. Set a trap card. 
trap card. My very first trap card. We got skill successor. Trigger uh, target one face up monster you control. It gains 400 attack until the end of the turn. During your turn, except the turn this card was sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Then target one face up monster you control that gains eight, 800 attack until end of turn. Wait, how do I do that? Just in general during your during your turn. Just during my turn. That's pretty cool. Just get rid of something. All right, from the graveyard. All right, you you exile it. My trap card has been played. Trap cards can be used on the turn after they are set. Let's summon a monster. All right. In the middle. You cannot enter battle phase when going first. In end your turn. Got it. Okay, so there is a second main phase. I didn't check that last time. Some games have a second main phase. Some games don't. All right. I, I need to check it. Pokemon doesn't. Magic Gamma does. Your opponent monsters attacking. All right. Your opponent has a clear battle effect. Yeah, let's trigger it. Oh, activate your deal. Yes. Haha, -ha, you have triggered my trap card. <laughs> I've always wanted to say that in my life. All right. Oh, right, 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 right. So if they don't do enough damage, it will actually hurt them. That's crazy. So the excess damage still goes through. It's just if it's our excess damage, <laughs> goes through. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Blade Knight. That bottom effect I can't read, but whatever. All right. Some cards can be activated from your graveyard for a special effect. Activate the skill successor in your graveyard. Got it. Over here? Do I just click this? I thought I clicked it. Oh, activate effect. Click. Get away. Banish it. Banish it from my graveyard. <laughs> Exile egg so I could never actually touch it in the game. Select a monster to gain attack. Oh, what a big boy. Your monster has been powered up by the card in your graveyard. Summon another monster. Okay. Summon. I summon Blade Knight! Let's proceed to the battle phase and try attacking. Alright. And then we just kill. Try attacking with a monster. Okay. Wow! That was a lot of damage! Man, I hope Yugi sing me now! All right, easy, easy. All right, this is not the complicated part. This is not the part where I gave up. All right, all right, all right. I think I started the next tutorial and then that's where I stopped. Cause it had, it started to have like linking in the arrows and I was like, uh, 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 why is this procking? All right, you've learned the basics of duelist. Now, remember everything you've learned so far and claim this next victory on your own. Okay, I can do that. Standby phase, main phase. All right, we got, what is this? Sorcery spell wall? Field spell, all right. All monsters control gain 300 attack during your turn only. All monsters you control gain 300 defense during your opponent's turn only. Oh, okay. So they get buffed either the attack or defense. So that's a field spell, which is not a trap card. The, once I use that, it's used, right? I assume so. No, I don't know. It says field spell. This is this is the one that says normal spell. So this is what we saw before. Destroy the face up one face up monster your opponent controls that has the highest defense. And this okay. So this seems like a one time uh, 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 thing. This seems like you can play it and it'll always trigger this effect. It's what you might call an enchantment. Maybe. All right, what do we got for boys, though? We got beckoned by the world. He's at 18 and 16. All right. So just the boys who can swing, I guess. Uh, We need some defense spell. One spell trap your opponent controls, destroy that target. What? Oh, target one spell or trap your opponent controls. Destroy that target. Then you could set one spell or trap from your hand. Oh. Ooh. 
I can just set one of these for free. Why, why don't I just set all of them? Can't I set all of them? Put down my trap god. Shouldn't I get rid of this too? Those are one face up monster opponent controls that has a high defense. I want to set up so that when I put down my boy, I'm not afraid. Can't I just activate this and it be chill? All right, let's put our boys first. Oh, boys. Well, does it even matter to play down things? Right? Since I can't even swing right now, does it even matter? I feel like not, because like Yu-Gi-Oh doesn't have like a haste, right? Like a summoning sickness that other games might have. I don't know. Let's cast it. We cast our feet field spell. Oh, I can't. I can't put him out now. All right. There's a reason. I don't know what it is, but there's a reason. What? Target one face-up spell. He's getting rid of my... Oh! I right-clicked. That's not what I meant to do. I right-clicked to see what was the effect. Your opponent is about to end his or her turn. You want to use this effect? Yeah, let's start blasting. Dust Tornado. Select a card to destroy. Can I destroy that? I thought I had to destroy a... Okay, actually, what does this say? Target one spell or trap your opponent controls to destroy the target. Oh, okay, so it has to be a trap card. I destroy your trap card. There's no applicable cards in your hand. Got it, got it, got it. Oh, to cast my next spell. Right, right, right. What? 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 <laughs> I guess he had a card that let him search for something. A specific thing. Alright. I draw. Toon Warrior. What was this one? Normal spell? Destroy the... So I can't just trigger this now. I meant like before when he had his bullet. I couldn't just trigger it whenever I wanted to. I guess I could only do it if he's actually swinging or something. Then I could proc it. And that's where... Having that effect go off and then play a spell is then I could have played that to kill his monster too. Is that the idea? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Doesn't matter which one I use. They do basically the same thing. I guess I could do a blocker. Let's get a blocker in. So I do know if you put down a blocker and they hit this, the damage doesn't go through. Like I don't take the damage. And then the, the defense is more to keep it alive. And I think... I don't know if our defense is higher than theirs. Does their dude die? I don't know about that. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to switch to battle. I was a fool. All right, let's just end turn. Since I can't swing. Because could I swing with a defense card? I feel like no, right? All right, he killed my thing, but I don't take any damage. So that's at least something. All right. We're sure taking our sweet time with this match. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. All right. Tribute one monster, then target one card your opponent controls to destroy. So tribute is like sacrifice a monster, right? Pretty sure. All right. This is just a this is just boy. All right. Let's put down our boy so that we can actually take care of something. And then smashing ground. So maybe it's only on our, on our turn we can do the spell. So they're not instants. They're sorceries, right? Maybe that's how it works. It, like, instant sorceries means sorcery can only pl be played on your turn. Instance can be played whenever. Basically. Alright. Does he have a special thing? He doesn't. I can switch him now. Just for the aggro attack. But I think we just do this. Haha! -ha! I bet you didn't see that coming. And then we could flip it. And then I'm assuming we could swing both of these. Oh, what is he doing? Antenna, it can... Android, it can... From miles away, but suffer from bad reception. Okay, I it just it's glowing here. I don't know what that means. Oh right, special summons. I do not fully understand special summons. The concept of it is kind of cool. You basically sacrifice your monsters to make monsters if they feel their effect. I don't fully understand. So like if we we could technically do this one, I guess it's saying. Or this one, one of these two. One tuner plus one more non-tuner monster. If this card destroys an opponent, 
so monster by battle inflict damage to your opponents equal to half the destroyed monster's original attack that's pretty cool but it turns into a 22 22 that's big this one could be a forte was it two normal monsters non-effect monsters you control gain 500 attack also all effect monsters uh your your opponent controls loses 500 attack uh there's so much uh, there's so much more all right all right uh i kind of want to do this but let's do some science real quick so i do want to sack my monsters to do it but let's see oh okay i'm hoping i could swing so let's go to battle let's see if we can optimize this so you go to battle you swing damage you swing damage second main phase can we summon let's see can we special summon this dude we can i mean he won't be able to attack this turn but select a card oh select a card to send to your graveyard okay let me let me understand what's going on here Maybe that is the special sub. Okay. Excuse me. One tuner plus one more. Do I have to fail this the the numbers? This is this is one thing I learned, is monsters are free to cast unless they have a certain threshold of stars. Then it's like they need to be they need to be sacked up to fill, fulfill that cost, which we can technically do. You. And you, and we met the requirements, so that's why it's like he was an option. And then we could either do him in defense. I feel like defense, right? I mean, he'll be face up, but if we do defense, he can't do anything. Like, I feel pretty confident. Ooh. I don't think these areas matter right now for what we're doing, but maybe in the future. Big boy! Alright, wait, wait, no, no, I don't want to turn. Tribute one monster, then target your target one card. I mean, we can set this, right? It doesn't hurt to set it. I think the one downside to setting it, if it's like not something we're really wanting to play yet, is one, is it shows the point that one, we don't have any cards in hand. And two, it's something they can blow up on their field. Alright, we don't want to destroy that because that would just get rid of our boy. So we're kind of chilling. He got a boy, but it doesn't matter. He got his giant soldier. I don't care about your giant soldier. I'm going to be honest. All right. Change the position. I'm wondering if on our second main, if we could switch it. Or if it's just one turn, you could switch a monster. I don't know. All right. This is a 21. Whoa. With her magical stat. Okay, so she's a vanilla card. Pop. Put that a defense. Oh, put. I'll oh, play this face down. All right, let's attack, and we have to go through the boy. We can't just swing at him. All right, easy. Big damage. Now, if we wanted to for sure make sure that trap card didn't trigger, we could have played our trap card, uh, sacrifice our defense card, and blow it up to get rid of tricks. But hey, we did it. All right, I'm really, I'm feeling pretty good. Yugi would be proud. All right, dual restart. All right, gate details. For when you want to learn or relearn the basics of dueling, take the first step. Here, we recommend that you play this before you try dual training. That's the next one. All right. Or any of the many gates where you'll experience the story. Okay, child's play. Have I really not done all this? I thought I at least did a little bit of this, to be honest. All right. Practice duel. I get a loner and I get cards. Let's do it. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give I want stuff. <sighs> duel. All right. Put a monster onto the field. Uh, monsters below level four. Got it. Level four are easy to put on the field. They will be useful, especially at the beginning of a duel. Use attack and defense values to determine how to put them on the field. So, I feel like the first one is more to get you in the game. And then this one's like, alright, here's the like, full-on rule set. So, like, it's going to tell us defense and whatnot. Summon, to summon a monster with high attack, summon it by putting it face down. Uh, position, and to summon a monster with high defense, set it by putting it face down in a defense position. 
It's not gonna tell me why I, I care to put one one or the other. No. Okay. Turn change. Draw. I got my crown by the world chalice. All right. Some monsters' cards have various features, such as high attack, high defense, etc. The attack of your opponent's monster is higher than that of crowned by the world chalice in your hand. If you summon the monster as is, you will not win in battle. So let's put the monster on the field in another way. Let's set crowned by the world chalice. Okay. Let's set it. I set this monster! End your turn. I should have went to battle just to see if I could swing. I don't think I can with defense cards face down, but hey. Your opponent's monster is attacking. If you if your set monster is attacking if your set monster is attacked by your opponent's monster, the attack of the opponent's monster is compared with the defense of your monster. So defense is trades, which there's oh wait, what? The attack of the opponent's monster is compared Okay, the attack is compared with the defense. Gotta get it, get it. I was like for a second, I was like, what? Why should these? He's in attack mode. So 14 against 21, which means he's about to get bodied. If your monster's defense is equal to your opponent's monster's attack, it will not be destroyed in battle and you will successfully block the opponent's attack. Furthermore, if your monster's defense is greater than your opponent's monster's attack, you will deal battle damage to your opponent. All right. You got played. I did it. Wow. All right. We got the gene warped werewolf. Warwolf? Dig it. All right. It's just a vanilla card. Got it, got it, got it. But it's a beast warrior. Let's get that beast tribal. We got three of those for our beast tribal deck. What's the card I'm going to get here? Mage power? Whoa, equip spell? We have equipment? You might not know this, but hey man, in, in Commander, I do like equipment. I'm a little bit of an equipment junk. I don't know. I love it. It's a good time. It feels great. I have a sword. Equip the sword. I have sword. It's great. All right. This is what we learned on our own, but I guess we'll be taught here. Spell and trap cards that remain on the field. Used spell and trap cards are used spell and trap cards are sent to the graveyard, but cards with continuous equip and field icons remain on the field. Notably, field spell cards will be placed in a dedicated field zone, not the spell trap zone. Excuse me. Does that mean you can only have? Oh, okay. So it it, it gets placed alongside the monsters, or is it its own little spot? Seems like its own little spot, which means you can only play one field spot, uh, one field spell. Man, bummer. I was about to say it would be cool to play like a, a enchantment deck, a field spell deck. All right, opponent, opponent is reinforcing the monster with field spell cards. Field spell cards are placed in a dedicated field zone and activated various effects while placed on the field. Destroy your opponent's field spell cards with the effect of Dust Tornado that you drew. Let's set Dust Tornado. Okay, let's do it. I'll set my card face down. Try summoning Chosen by the World Chalice. All right. Summon! I summoned you! All right, now you are ready for the attack of your opponent's monster. End your turn. See, they're going to think that they can swing at us, but we'll show them because we'll blow up their thing that's buffing them. Ah, ah. I do like that you can hover over and it kind of shows the, the buff effect from there. Small little thing, but I like it. The opponent is now activating an equipment spell card. Equipped spell cards are also spell cards that remain on the battlefield. Unlike field spell cards that affect the entire field, equip spell cards affect the monsters that are equipped, equipping them. Oh no! Your opponent's monster is attacking. I wish I could actually read that spell, but whatever. All right, all right, I got it, I got it, I got it. If a field spell card leaves about a uh, field, its effect no longer applies. Got it. Yep. 
We destroy its effect in response. Uh, does it, I mean, I assume we want to destroy this one, right? Increase the attack of all earth monsters by 500. Which makes it back down to 15. Because now it's giving us a choice of which one you want to do. And you could make the wrong choice, which is kind of funny. No, it's it specifically saying, hey, don't, don't use that one. Use it on Gaia power, not Mystical Moon. Alright, so equip spells. Oh, okay, so there's not like an equip cost. It's just instead of a field spell, you clip it and then it affects to one thing. Got it. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So I can build an equipment deck, you're saying. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Wow, another victory. All right, got three mage powers. Cool. I feel like I, I already did this. Now, I will say I did have this on my on my Switch. So maybe maybe it's different accounts, but I thought I had it on the same account. Maybe I'll have to check it out. All right. Practice duel. I will say, everything we're doing so far is not the thing that threw me off and made me stop wanting to play this game. So, haha, <laughs> hold in there, folks. Activation, activation and setting of spell cards. Spell cards can not only be activated on your turn, but can also be set like trap cards. Many spell cards can be set and then activated during your turn, except for quick play spell cards. Instead, you could set it then can activate it on your opponent's turn. Okay. So, yeah. So if we set a card, it can't be used whatever. Like a spell even. But it's like, it's the it's the mind game of like, is it a trap card? What did I really play? I guess it's some of that. Right? But then there are cards that are basically instants that can be played whatever. When putting a spell... When putting a spell card from your hand onto the field, you can choose whether to activate or set that card. Let's break down the difference between the two. Let's set Smashing Ground. Okay. I set my card face down. Spell card set on your turn can be still be activated on that turn. Let's take a look at it in practice. Then why did I set it? <laughs> activate Smashing Ground. It feels like I'm leaving up for, for interaction. <laughs> Alright, you have successfully destroyed your opponent's monster. Spell cards are probably used during your turn. This is true not only when activating from the hand, but also when activating cards set on the field. Some spell cards are called quick play spell cards. When activated from the hand, it behaves the same as other spell cards. But, when set from the hand, it can be activated that turn. Keep in mind that when set, eh, when set, it has a feature that allows it to be activated, even during the post turn, just like a trap card. So I can't just play it from my hand, I still have to set it. But then I can activate it during the post turn. Got it, got it, got it. Try something beckoned from the world chalice. Okay. Summon. Let's proceed to battle phase. Oh, is it going to show me? Okay. Attack your opponent's life points directly. Okay. I trust you. You would never let me get hurt. Oh, okay. I thought... Okay. I mean, based on what it said, it made sense. I thought he was going to... Alright. He just said that... He just told us stuff, but didn't let us see the actual activation of the other thing. But whatever. Blind spot strike. Look at a blind spot. All right, this is a quick play spell. A select one face up defense position monster your opponent controls and one face up attack position monster you control. The monster you control, the monster you control gains the attack equal to the opponent's monster's defense until the end of phase. That's kind of fun. Cheeky plays, cheeky plays. All right, moving up. I feel like I'm becoming a master duelist. Alright, utilize your main 
Phase 2. Main Phase 1 is primarily for preparing to attack in the battle phase, including summoning monsters. After the battle phase is over, remember to move on to Main Phase 2. In Main Phase 2, you could prepare for the opponent's turn, such as setting trap cards. Got it. As commander player, I don't make use of this often. <laughs> I do not, I will be honest. I play everything on main phase one in the main phase of your turn. You can perform various actions to advance the duel. Summoning monsters, activating and setting spells and trap cards are some examples. Main phase one is when you set up for an attack. The skill's successor in your hand cannot be activated even if it is set this turn. Let's first summon a monster and proceed the battle phase. Try summoning chosen by the world chalice. Okay. Wow. Let's proceed to the battle phase. Wait, what is our card? So the target up to one monster you control gains buffed until the end of turn. But it's a trap card. So it can't, it just can't be proc right now. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right. Let's try attacking a monster. Oh no. All right. Flip, target, oh, okay. I didn't get to read what that said. The opponent's face down defense position monster was a Crimson Ninja. Crimson Ninja destroys a trap card set on the battlefield. So it's saying what would have happened if I had played it. If you had set skill successor and main phase was, it would have been destroyed by the opponent's effect. Let's end the battle phase and move on to main phase two. I almost would rather it had let us play it just so that we could have felt the effects of it. I'd be like, oh yeah, that sucks. But maybe not. Main phase two is an important phase to prepare for the opponent's turn. Spell and trap cards can be activated and set in the same way as in main phase one. Furthermore, if you did not normal summon set a monster in main phase one, you can normal summon slash set a monster in main phase two. Is it only if I did not though? That's my question. Or if it's in general, you can also do it then. Because it's making it sound like no, but eh. What triggers my what triggers my my trap card? Does it have to be them swinging, or can it have been in that battle I could have triggered it? That's what I'm curious about because I don't know. Now you're ready for the attack to jump punch monsters. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Ah. All right, so it is on attack. Activate skill successor. You triggered my trap card. Haha, -ha. you see this, Yugi? Soon I will be the master duelist. All right, we're doing it. Uh, Regeki Break. Pretty sure this is a good card. Discard one card, then target one card you're on, on the field. Destroy it. Doesn't seem bad, I'll tell you that much. Seems pretty solid. Mm. Mm. Are we playing a real game now? Or do we have one more then to real game? So far, it seems like a real game. All right, we got our field spell. All monsters get buffed. Got it. We got Leotor. <laughs> 15, 16. All right. If this beast, if this card battles a non-normal monster, this card gains 500 attack during the damage step only. Interesting. I do like that it's only on the damage step. That means if, if there's any kind of like a blocking or attack of like, ah, this monster, if this monster is... Is, is is 20 attack destroy it it won't get affected by that very cool very cool we got our 18 zero defense 16 zero defense 16 two how big is this guy for so we can still attack him but we probably want to defense him what's what's our spell again it buffs it all right 
So I assume since we can't even swing because we're first turn, we we play it down. I can't play down another another monster. I can only play down one. Uh, does it matter wh whether I set it or affect it? I guess if I set it, I can't affect it this turn, right? So it's more for next turn. But we might as well just affect it, right? Might as well just get the buff. All right. So it seems like we can only play one monster. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that's still only first turn. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, get dusted. Get dusted. And he took extra damage from our field spell, too. I draw. Ballistic squad. squad. All right. What is this? Feral Imp. It's a 13-14. A playful little fiend that lurks on the dock waiting to attack an unwary enemy. <laughs> All right. Uh, what is this? Main phase. Do we swing? I mean, we could swing with our boy here and be fine. What is this? Non-normal? Is this normal? It is normal. Oh, I won't get my 500 bonus. It doesn't matter. I kind of want to set our, our trap card, to be honest. Tribute one monster. All right, so we can summon a dude. Does it matter? I kind of want to just do our big boy. My, why not, right? I mean, he does have a lot of defense going on, but maybe we can have set one one defense boy. I mean, it's only 200, so it's not that big, but we can play a little bit more safe. So we'll put a boy. I'll play a monster face down, and then we flip it. And then we can get crazy with it. I mean, I'll set this monster down or this trap down. Maybe it's a bad call. Because I can't trigger it now. So it probably is a bad call. If I could, then it would be kind of nice to like trigger it, sack this guy, and then maybe destroy one of his trap cards. But let's go to battle phase. All right, let's swing. Oh, no. Oh, he gained life. That's what he played. All right, all right. He gained life. We gained life. All right, so he is technically ahead, which is not good for us. Let's go to our second main phase. I can't switch in our second main phase. So you could probably only switch a monster. To, uh, Well, probably once it gets played, you can't switch it. And then until the next turn, and once per turn, you can switch the monster once, probably. Probably. I don't know. That hasn't been explained. My trap card hasn't been triggered, so we can't deal with that. Got it. Does this only affect on on our turn? Yeah, during your turn, and then all, and then defense on their turn. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. All right, your opponent is about to end his or her turn. Activate a card spell, so I could activate this. I kind of want to, right? Hmm. Tribute, tribute this monster because it doesn't matter. I mean, it kind of does. Now, we could go for his trap card or we could honestly go for his body. I don't think he has a high... I'm going to... Oh! I meant to switch it! I wanted to hit the other thing because I didn't think he had a high body. Yeah, that dude wasn't even that big! Ah! Oh. On flip, draw one card. Oh! Which he would have flipped over as a defense. Even when getting swung on. So, all right. All right. What are we doing? What are we doing? We can swing. We got an 18. We got a 16. I think we just go crazy. We go heavy on the on an attack. Now we can special summon. Don't care, though. Do not care. Wait, can I do this effect now? It is a spell. Destroy the face-up card. All right. Doesn't matter. All right. Let's go to battle. Uh, let's swing with our weaker boy first. Ooh. Big damage. Did not cast a spell. Let's swing again. Boom! I wonder if they have if, if they have swung. They can't switch deep. They can't switch. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Second main phase can't switch. Yeah, I don't know the whole switching part. Maybe that's only in your your main phase. Your first main phase. Can you switch a monster? Because I wouldn't mind actually. Okay, it wouldn't have mattered, but I kind of would have liked to switch him in defense. Oh, we were supposed to put down Smashing Grounds. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, though. Unexpected Dive. All right. It's a normal spell. If you control no monster monsters, 
Special summon one level four or lower normal monster from your deck. Interesting. It's kind of nice if this get blasted. All right. Uh, ground spell, though. Destroy up to one face-up monster. Your opponent controls that has highest defense. I mean... So I could change his deal in position. I assume if I cast out this guy, though... It won't affect. I kind of want to make the use of this this uh, field spell, though, to be honest. Um, we can already normal summon. I'm wondering if in our second main phase, if we could still normal summon. I think we should. Just like we could technically have, I think, cast that out in our second main, but I don't know. Uh, let's go, though. Let's, let's swing. Because doing our spells don't matter. That doesn't affect anything unless it's in our second main. Let's do our, let's do our, let's do our, let's do our, let's do our 19. Maybe it was a bad call. Ooh, he's only 300. Let me read that. <laughs> His flip is target one trap card on the field. Oh, he has to target a trap card. Destroy that target. Oh my. Okay, so that sucks. If the target is set, reveal it and destroy it. If it's a trap card, otherwise return it to his normal position. So if it was a spell card, not a trap card, then it, it would have been fine. If we had played something down, then he could have targeted that. Okay, but because, because we didn't play anything, he had to do his. It's not up to one. Wait, was it up to one? No, it's just literally target one. Yeah, so he had to, he had to do that. That's rough for him. All right, main phase two. Poor bot. Okay, and now we can still special summon if we wanted to. And we could only do this dude, which is kind of meh. So I'm good. Um, unexpected die. I think we do smash and ground. Doesn't matter too much, but then maybe we shouldn't, right? Because it won't affect on their turn. We can only affect it on our turn, so it doesn't even matter. So we just end turn, right? Right? There's no point in playing it? I don't know. I draw! Call of the Haunted! Activate this card by targeting one monster in your graveyard. Special summon that target in attack position. When this card leaves the field, destroy that monster. Where that monster is destroyed, destroy this card. Makes sense. Well, I do want to set that. That's pretty cool. I guess it doesn't matter right now. I know, I know. All right. Let's go to our attack phase. I swing. With my 19. I do kill. Now my 21 does giga damage. As Yuga has as Yugi has taught me. It's called giga damage. <laughs> I play Call of the Haunted tap face down. And then these we don't care about, right? Can't even cast them right now, so it doesn't matter. Move on. I do want to do this track card. Stop playing yourself. Okay, so when can I play a trap card? That's the thing I'm wondering is like when. Is it just whenever they do something on their turn? I don't know. I miss that. I miss that somehow. We get a Leotard back. Leotard. I believe. Yeah, attack! Alright. Alright, let's just go to battle. Leotard! Go! Woo! Yeah, we did it! Huzzah! Alright. All right, so I see, I see, I see, I see. We leveled up. Well, we didn't level up, but we got experience. So complete, clear gems. Wow. So yeah, it said practice duel. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Gold, clear rewards. Mates base slash normal monster cards. One, all right. Ah, good day, mate. All right, mates base, normal card, monster card. All right, I stayed in the shape, what? 
A stand in the shape of a card that started many duels. Inscribed on this card is a fragment of history. It tells us something about the way monsters were and what happened in the world in which we live. Okay. Cool. Again, this was not the thing that struggled me. Learn how to special summon. I don't think that was the problem. Absolute monarch. It might have been out here. I can't remember. All right. We're going to keep chugging, though. All right. We're at dual training. Challenge yourself in a range of duels that will help you improve your skills. There are dual chapters that you can duel with your own deck in. And dual chapters are where you can learn a foundation with loader decks first before moving on to a duel on your own. Okay. Dual strategy. Learn how to su summon special monsters and other, other useful t dual techs. Okay. This is more familiar. This is more familiar. Okay, dual. Get our starter. We have starting deck. Can I change decks? Will this affect it? I have Power of the Dragons. I got it from somewhere. I don't know where I got this. And I don't know what it does. I don't think I've used it. But I say, let's use it. What does this have? Is this what we've been seeing? This is what we've been seeing. Let's well, like the Power of the Dragon. Yeah, let's do it. All right. We get Regeki. Regeki. Oh, this is the Regeki I've heard of. Destroy all monsters your opponent's control. Yep. <laughs> all right. Duel using the basic rules of Master Duel for the duel. Each player will start. Uh, your opponent will try to tribute summon a level 5 or higher monster. Be careful because if a monster summoned last turn remains on the field, on the next turn it will be sent to the graveyard and a powerful monster will be summoned in exchange. It's just talking about its own monster. It's kind of let us know the strategy of what the opponent's trying to do. Got it. Look at this little guy! Ah, oh, okay. We'll look at it later. What are tribute summons? This method is used for summoning monsters level 5 and above. You must tribute a certain amount of monsters on your side of the field in order to perform this summon. The amount will depend on the level of the monster you want to tribute summon. Setting monsters level 5 and above will also require a tribute. As you, as you only have one normal summon per turn, you will not be able to tribute summon if you have already performed your normal summon for the turn. Okay, so you can only play one monster per turn. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. So you can only normal summon one per turn, is what I should say. Normal summon. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Got it. Five points, I think. Huh? Okay. Look at this boy, though. Look at this little guy. Look at him. Oh, it's so cute. Kid Moto Dragon. Oh, I don't need more info, I don't think. I think I got plenty. I draw. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Okay. So, okay. Red cards, trap. Green cards, normal spells. Got it. And then these are spells. All right. I do like the color coordination. That is nice. He has a face down monster. He's dragon army. I'm dragon army. We have divine dragon Ragnarok. It's four. It's not even five. Oh, a legendary, a legendary dragon sent by the gods. As legends say, they've provoked the whole world with sick beneath. So it's 1510. Uh, so they went first. Does that mean I get to swing? I think so. All right, we got Dark Hex Sealed Fusion. All right, it's a 10-16. You could substitute this card for any one fusion material monster, but the other fusion material monster must be correct. You could tribute fusion material monster on the field, including this face-up card, so I could even do it on this guy. Uh, special summon one corresponding dark fusion monster from your extra deck. Is that this? Uh, does it say dark? Same card. I'm trying to find the thing that it works with. I don't see the benefit. Let me read it one more time. 
rock effect. Corresponding dark fusion monster from your deck. Dark fusion? Do these count? <laughs> They're fusion. They have fusion in their thing. Oh, cannot be destroyed by battles with a dark earth. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to worry about that right now. We got we got our kid dragon. We got our stamping destruction spell, normal spell. If you control a dragon monster, target one spell trap on the field. Destroy that target. And if you do, inflict 500 damage on his, on his controller. Nice. That's pretty cool. And then our track guard is during your opponent's turn at damage calculation. Make the battle damage you take from this battle zero. And if you do, draw one card. That's nice. It's a fog, kind of. Kind of. Wow. You could also play it if you were to do damage on them. During your opponent's opponent so as long as it's on the opponent's turn at damage it just makes it so that the damage we would be taking is zero but if we're winning the battle we could still probably proc this and draw a card for free if we want to be speedy speedy we got strong wind dragon it's a six cost so we would have to sack some dudes cannot be destroyed by a battle with a monster that has the same attack with if this card is tribute summoned by tributing a dragon type monster it gains attack equal to half the original attack of the tribute monster if this card attacks a defense position monster inflict piercing battle damage to your opponent so that means i assume it means we still trample over i assume that's pretty cool i summon pot of greed to draw three additional cards on my deck i play pot of greed pot of greed lets me draw three cards. <laughs> you have to always explain what it does all right, what does our little baby dragon do? If this card is sent to the graveyard, oh, you can special summon one dragon type, one dragon type monster from your hand. Okay, so special summon gets around the whole uh, other summon, right? The normal summon. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Except, except dragon type monsters nor conduct your battle phase. Ah, uh, okay. The turn you activate this effect, you can only use this effect of Kidmoto Dragon once per turn. So what it's saying, I'm assuming, is if we were to try to do this on our main phase, our first phase, we couldn't use that same dude we brought in to attack. I assume that's what that meant. I could be wrong, but I assume that's what that means. I feel like we should swing... That's 10. That's not nothing. Okay, but they already told us their game plan is to uh, special summon a dude. So let's just get out this guy. It's 15. We will then go to battle. And we will swing. How are you doing, Dylan? Oh, no! Ow! He put out a big boy in the dragon to while I get the cave. <laughs> Ow! All right. All right. Whatever. Um, let's see. If you control a monster target, one spell trap on the field, destroy that target. Ah, uh, well, that doesn't quite work. During your opponent's turn, at damage calculation, make the battle damage take one. All right, well, let's set this at least. Uh, I kind of want to set this. It doesn't matter, right? Because we can't affect it on their turn. So I guess we might as well just keep it in hand, right? Huh. Uh-oh. They play two. Oh no. Dragon treasure. Dragon type monster equipped with this card increases the attack by 300. I want that. All right. He's swinging at us with 18. That means this will hurt us. Uh, we will take damage. Hmm. All right. I guess we could, we could make it so we don't take any damage this turn. Might as well. Triggered my trap card. So I take zero damage, and I get to draw a card. Oh, it kills it still. I had not realized it would still kill it. I guess that makes sense. It just means the X over damage I wouldn't have taken. Right. That makes sense. Lancer Dra Dragonute? What? Why does he have a lance? What's that about? All right. If this card attacks a defense position monster, inflict piercing battle damage. All right, we're not in a good spot. I'm going to be honest. We might lose this. Ugh. All right, all right. Mm. We don't have just a blow-up effect, which might have been nice. Twin-headed behemoth. 
During the end phase, if this card is in your graveyard because it was destroyed on the field and sent there this turn, you can special summon this card, but its attack defense become 10. You can only use this effect of twin headed behemoth once per duel. Okay, so if I if I summon him and swung and it died, then it'd be okay. All right, what's this do? All dragon, winged beast, and thunder monsters on the field get 200. Well, that's nice. It's pretty sweet. This destroys a spell of trap, so I could destroy this dragon treasure, or probably which is better, this field spell, which buffs both of them. Got it, got it, got it, got it. I can do that now, right? No, I need a monster. Okay. I need a dragon on the field. Alright, this is a 1518. This card attacks a defense position. Got it, got it, got it. Can't cast that. Can't cast that. We could do Behemoth 15, 10, 15. So this is probably our best. Just put it on the field to attack. Because we do want to kill like one of these dudes so that he can't special summon next turn, right? That's kind of the game plan. And I think this is the best one to do. Kind of seems like it. Because we're going to get swung at next turn. Maybe this one, actually. Because it's 15. They're both 15. And if this one dies, at least I can get it back, right? So, what we'll do is we play down a monster. Wait, is this a dragon? It is a dragon. Okay. I had to make sure. Oh, gosh. That would have been bad. All right. Let's activate now. I activate my spell. I destroyed this field spell. So, we destroy this, which is buffing both of them. Hey. Oh, and he takes damage. Forgot about that. Haha. -ha. So you can bleed. All right, and then we swing. Sadly, this guy can come and swing at us, and we're going to take damage, but let's get rid of this dude. All right. Second main phase. Can't do nothing. Enter. I would like the special summon, too. No! I don't know what you played, but I don't like it. Hunter Dragon, this dragon has taken down countless prey. All right. Oh, we can activate it on this turn. Wait, what? Oh, during the end phase, if this card is in your graveyard because it was destroyed on the field. Oh, so it's not even just on their turn. Oh, that's crazy. And then we can play him either in the in the face up or face down. I think hmm, we don't have another blow up effect or else I would probably blow up that. So let's just say, would it be face? It would still be face up. Uh, yeah, let's do face dead. I might special summon it, which could still happen if it's face down. All right. I forgot it's also weaker, but it comes back. So it's still a body, which means if we get our other boy out, we can still um, special summon, potentially. All right, what does this do? Threatening rule. Your opponent cannot declare an attack this turn. That seems pretty solid. That seems kind of good for us, but you might special summon if we don't destroy a boy. All right, um, you get a little baby out there. Ah, oh, gosh, this is actually not good for us. All right, what do we need to special summon? Because <laughs> we might need a special summon to get a boy out. Oh, man. He's seven. Your opponent cannot target dragon monster with card effects once per turn. You can special summon one dragon. That's actually pretty good because it's not just ours, right? It could also be theirs. <laughs> All right. Uh, so we need seven stars for that. All right. Well, that means we would have to play down Lancer because that would make seven. So I assume that's how we can get that one out. We want to get these. How do we do these? Five dragon Five dragon monsters must be fused. Must be fusion. So we would have to use five fusion dragons. Is that what it's saying? Maybe. Maybe that's what it's saying. I don't know. All right. Uh, doesn't matter if we put this in an attack position, right? I play this face down. Oh, if it was face down, does it not matter? Oh, gosh. Did I fail? Oh, no. All right. Let's at least do this so that they can't attack us this next turn. Oh. Battle. Second. Can I do it second main? No. Does it have to be face up?
Or is it... Oh. Is it literally... I have to have Lord of D plus Divine Dragon Ragnarok. Is that really how it works? You're joking, right? So we would need Divine Dragon Ragnarok. We would need this guy. And then we would need some other card we have not seen. Alright, that makes sense. I am learning. At least we know he can't hit us this turn. He can special summon. Okay. What is this? Totem Dragon. Can we treat it as two tribute? What? Two tribute? For the tribute. Oh, so if Sutton's like, tribute a monster. All right. How about dragon monster? Once per turn, during your... Okay, that's a lot of effects. Uh, we might as well just activate this, right? Before it gets blown up. Might as well. He didn't tribute? Alright. Interesting, interesting. Interesting play. Hmm. If you control a dragon. Are you a dragon? You are a dragon. Target one spell a trap on the field and destroy it. It's not the worst thing. Let's do it. Aha! I destroy your equipment. I assume he wanted to keep his equipment monster alive. Maybe that's the thing. I don't know. I don't know. Can I summon this guy yet? He's six. I wonder if it doesn't matter if Tundler flipped. I don't know. I assume so. So let's flip him. Now it's seven. Now I'm assuming we could summon him. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, but let's normal summon. You must tribute one monster in order to tribute summon this monster. It didn't matter? Ah. Hello. Hi. Hi, Rico. Hello. I am learning. So if I tribute that dude. Alright, I'm confused. I don't understand. Can I be destroyed by a monster attack if. Ah. With a monster that has the same attack. If this card is tribute, summoned by tributing a dragon type monster, it gains attack equal to half the ritual attack of the tribute monster. It's got a defense. Okay, I thought it was over. So I thought I had to meet the star requirement. I'm learning. <laughs> Alright, we keep you in defense position, but we'll move to a battle. Hello, Sunny Shine. Tribute will give it uh, half the attack and plus its own. Yeah, but I, I thought because it was six stars, I had a tribute up to six stars. When I tribute this full star monster. That that was my confusion. Is I thought I had to do the four and three to meet up to six to summon the sky. That's what I was thinking. But, as we see now, seems like I was mistaken. Alright, so you can tribute two monsters here. I don't know if, if, I don't know if that matters. We could just go there, blow up this guy, but I think we just get rid of this because the practice mode of this is basically, hey, they're trying to special summon. All right. Do we have anything in second main? No. Let's end. All right. Five, six is one tribute. Five, six. Okay. Oh, that's how it works. Okay, that makes sense. I didn't know that's what that meant. I thought it meant fulfilled the star requirements. And that's because it was one of these. It was one of the special summons we did. That's kind of how it worked. It wasn't this deck. It was a different deck. And that's what it kind of did was like, hey, fulfilled the star requirements. So that's what I thought. Got it. That makes sense, though. The 5, 6 is 1 monster. 7, 8 is 2. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. All right, what are we doing? Lord of D. Oh, if I had my, what's it called? Where is he? Where is my boy who is dead? If I had Divide Dragon Ragnarok, I could be able to special summon. Not this turn, but would have been nice. Would have been nice. I guess we could put it down in case we draw it. Neither, neither player can target dragon monsters on the field with card effects. That's probably more beneficial to us right now. Uh... Mm. 
Seven or more is two tributes, unless it says in the text. That makes sense. Star is the level. Yeah. Okay. I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm learning. We have our little boy, our little little baby dragon. I forgot what does this do? We get special summon one dude. Well, if we're gonna want a guy to die, we might as well just put this guy down. Because that puts it in our hand, right? Yeah, special summon one dragon type monster from your hand. Gotta get it, get it, get it, get it. Uh, so we could tactically, if they swung here, get this guy out for free. I am assuming. Summon Hex. Click your deck on the left. I just know for these two, I, it was it was the uh, the first whatever starter deck they gave that had the thing. It probably said it probably said down there fulfill the thing. You have two decks, uh, main deck on the right and extra deck on the left. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. All right, let's go to the battle. So I started swinging. All right, uh, you're trying to keep this guy alive. Why? Has taken down countless prey with sharp fangs. It strikes very fast. If it does not strike first, it's vulnerable to a counter attack. All right, I don't know why he's trying to keep it alive, but let's swing at the this guy because we can kill it, get damage off. And then end. We don't have anything in our second main. Read the top text on King Dragon. That's your requirement. Oh my goodness. Stop. No, my little baby dragon. Uh, there's no applicable card effect in Komodo Dragon. I was a fool then. What does it say? All right. If this card is set to graveyard, you can special summon one dragon type monster from your hand. You cannot special summon monsters except... Dragon type monsters nor conduct your battle phase. The uh, turn you activate this effect. You don't only use this effect of Kinder Dragon once. Oh, that is not a dragon. <laughs> oh, I was a fool. I did not have any dragons on hand. It's still fine. Out of anything to die by blocking, that's still a fine thing to die. And we just didn't get the bonus effect. Read the read the hex dark the weird ball artwork monster in hand. Yeah. Oh, back to square. Fun. All okay. right. Yeah. You can substitute this card for any one fusion material monster with the other fusion material monster. Oh. All right. Let me let me. This is the first time playing this deck, by the way. So you're saying it could, this this ball of of, of 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 orb, can take place of one of the materials required for this. So it could be either or of these two. Is that what you're saying? All right. What does this say? Back to square one. Discard one card that target one monster on the field. Place that target on the top of the deck. That's kind of fun. Be like, I don't care about you, or even the equip monster. Because once the equipment has been played, you can't just re-equip it, right? I don't know. So that'd be kind of funny to make it like, haha, your equipment means nothing to me. You fool. Okay. I need Lord of D. But like basically I could use both of these to basically summon this guy, even though I don't have Divine Dragon Ragnarok. Because it has fusion. And in fact. I assume. Alright, how big are you? 10 10? Alright. If we want to see the fusion, even though it does not matter. The let's set this monster as a 16 boy. Um what does this do again? Let's go to battle. Swing at the big boy. Yeah! Uh, enter. Summon Lord of D and activate square and discard hex. Discard hex? Whoops. I have another! <laughs> Alright, you can substitute this card from... Let me read this. Let me understand. Let me comprehend the knowledge of reading. <laughs> You can substitute this card for any one fusion material monster, but the other fusion. 
So you're saying I don't need this on the field to be able to summon it, or no? Use square to destroy one card and use Lord of D or Hex cause higher attack points. Yeah, I'm just trying to summon this thing now though. This, this is more out of spite. This is just to see the thing happen, to be honest. All right, uh... I assume I need them flipped up though to be able to actually trigger, right? I assume. I could be wrong, but I'm assuming. He's getting its effect. You contribute fusion monster materials on effect, including this face-up card. If I do this now, could I do it, or is it, like, later? <laughs> Click on Hex. Summon Hex. Let's do it. And then we can special summon this boy. I'm doing things! King of Dragoon! Look at the boy! We're doing it! Battle! King Dragoon! Go! I'm doing the things! Yes, I see! Alright! Very cool, very cool! Yeah, getting, getting used to understanding the effects, what works, what actually costs what to do what. It's gonna take it's gonna take a tiny bit, but you know, we're we're learning it. Hey! Power of the dragon! I have that deck. That, oh, it is saying my deck. Oh. I'm okay. <laughs> nor nor what I say. Target one monster out of the graveyard. Special summon it. Okay. So, special summons. Can you only special summon once? Can you only special summon once? Or or is special summon like you could just special summon as much as you want? That's kind of the one that gets around any kind of summon. Normal summon is like you could only normal summon once. But after that, and the special summons like the workaround if you do other shenanigans. You can cheat out dudes. Alright, why are you telling me to go to the shop? You can change deck, but you need to go buy a deck and craft it. I Oh, I know. I know. I So my game plan so far, this is my game plan so far, Sunny, is uh, since I literally just started, I literally just started, I decided, hey, I'll do the tutorial. I'm going to do the tutorial. I have these two. I have the starting deck, and then I have the power deck, uh, power the dragon deck. I don't know. Um, I don't remember when I did this. I, I started this game. Like, a year ago. And then I, I stopped. And then, like, I didn't do anything. I, like, tried the tutorial and I was like, you know what? I'm good. And so, my goal is to literally go through the solo right now. We're just going through the solo. We're learning the stuff. We're learning the materials. And then once we're done with that, then we're going to learn what kind of decks I can make and what should make. And then go from there. That That's kind of the idea. So, yeah. Uh, and yeah, the, the structure decks, we can look at, see what I want, but for right now, I'm kind of holding off. I mean, these, these don't, these aren't costing too much, right? These structure decks here, this is just going to take us to the accessories. It does. Okay. So yeah, we, we could get one of these. Cause like, obviously the, what we have up here is en enough, right? Obviously by just looking at it and math. Like we can we can get something, um, which is eh. I'm gonna be honest. I already kind of mentioned. It. I do like dragons. Like I'm a I'm a lame boy. Like blue eyes max would be kind of silly. I mean I wouldn't feel too bad about playing this blue eyes max. About summon cut cut ins and cards effect playback. You can view a card summon cut in and card effects by selecting the playback button. I think that's just the cinematics of the card. So we could do this. I mean, it would be kind of fun. Um, the only reason why I'm kind of fine with doing this is only because, only because one, it, it, it's, ah, it's the blue eyes, white dragon. And also because we're going to be doing like tutorial stuff to where it's like, oh, if we actually did this, it's actually not a big deal. Right? Right? 
that's kind of my idea with it. It's like, it's not a big deal if we do get this, because it'd be kind of fun, because it's it's the thing. It's the blue eyes, white dragon thing. Um, and we're going to be do, do, doing tutorials, so it's not like we're doing real matches yet, to where it's not a big deal. But, yeah. In the future, though, we'll have to, like, craft our own deck, right? You can craft your own deck, yes. So, structure is 500 gems. I'm kind of glad that it's only 500. That's nice. And then you can craft your own deck. Okay. So, yeah, our plan is to... Um, I assume we craft decks by going to our decks, right? And then it can probably allow us, yeah. So we would do a new one. We would say create a new. You could do some public. That's pretty cool. How to edit your deck. Right click or drag drop cards in order to move them. Thank you. About generating and dismantling. This is an important part that people have complained that's not in Dragon Ball card game super fusion world. <laughs> of dismantling to be able to actually make the cards you want dismantling your excess cards to gain cp crafting points according to the rarity of the cards dismantled you can use cp to generate cards the rarity of this the card that is generated will depend on the rarity of the cp dismantle uh, selected cards allows you to dismantle the selected cards at once and there is also function to dismantle all extra cards that dismantle four or more cards at once so let's try it you can use it from the upper right uh deal all right got it so yeah this is where we can start a deck and then we can actually be crafting the actual deck based on a deck list that we find I don't have any deck list in mind. I have not looked yet. Again, no clue. We are just we just jumped into this game. So we're still just learning how to play the game. Before we look at what decks looks fun, what is actually viable deck right now that we could possibly grab. So right now we're holding off. I'm probably fine with like honestly, again, getting the blue eyes max. That'd be kind of fun. Just silly fun shenanigans. So I wouldn't I probably wouldn't mind actually getting that. Uh, but at the same time, the dragon deck we had, I literally just played that for the first time. So it's like, playing that wouldn't be too bad either. <laughs> you don't know, do you? I don't. I don't know. I'm a fool. I'm a noob. Okay. I know you gotta do it, do free, but it, if a sale on Phenomenal Game is, Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution. It's a far better playing and getting cards instead IMO. If it's not same, uh, P PS4. Yeah, I mean, I'm I, I'm fine with just playing on. I I understand that they have their other client, and you could do that to do like a uh, real get real kind of, kind of like the tcg kind of similar to dragon ball super card game future world where it's like the physical deal into the real client i yeah i know that but for right now i'm chilling i'm chilling i'm fine with just playing master duel that's just what i already have and what i like and what a lot more people that i know play it so i i'd rather just play on that um one thing though that's important is bathroom breaks bathroom breaks <laughs> all right I, i'm drinking a lot of coffee i got back literally right before this I, I did my workout so i'm i'm gonna go use the restroom because a lot of coffee is going through my system so i will be right back and we'll jump back into this and play more i'll probably get the blue eyes max but we'll see we'll see i'll be right back all right
Ugh. I'm back. Took a little bit longer than I was expecting. My wife was like, hey, can you do this? I'm like, oh, yeah, I can. One second. All right. What did I miss? Chat wise. All right. If you buy a structure, if you buy a structure, you save time learning it while solo instead of doing it individually, which takes longer because of the time management during collecting gems. I, I think I think you're right about that. I think that's a that is a good call. Like, if there's a structure deck I want to learn, learning the blue eyes white dragon deck is not. I think that'd be fun. Still has dragons. I like dragons, and um. Yeah, if I buy it now, I get to use it during the tutorial, which will let me learn it during the tutorial. So yeah, no, yeah, I, I think you're spot on. It's just we already have a, a dragon deck, so it's kind of like... I want to try that. We, we only played it once. So it feels it feels weird to have, like, we try to thing once and then be like, Alright, cool. I'm going to go buy something. Like, it, that, that's kind of thing. And especially when it's a, it's a deck that's like, I'm not necessarily to not like. But, yeah. All right. Back into it. <laughs> what is it you wanted me to check? Oh, I am opening something I wasn't supposed to. I just clicked on a random thing. Go to mission duelist cop. Is that a duel? I assume it's that duel. Could run. Oh no, you mean my battle pass? No. This? Ah, this. The big thing that says duelist cop. <laughs> right, 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 right. That thing. <laughs> The flag icon for missions. Oh, never mind. Missions. Okay. That's what I first thought, but I was like, that's just missions. All right. Duelist Cup. Yeah. Duel and Duelist Cup. I haven't done that. Activate spells. Yeah. Well, we'll probably be doing this when we actually, like, uh, actually get done with the tutorial. But again, we're doing the tutorial. We have a bunch of dual and solo missions. So we can get more. We're going to get more coins. Uh, for a daily's lifetime, for what are we getting for lifetime, win solo mode. It's literally just for doing that. Hey, giving us crafting stuff. Oh, thank you. That's so nice. Again, this was the thing that was like I, I kind of heard slightly is that like you get stuff like this to help you craft your own deck. Uh, early on, which is kind of nice. It's kind of nice to be in a position where even if you're a new player, you can kind of craft stuff and do stuff and get there. All right, the gems is just play cards. The event ends on the 20th first. Uh, you will end up wasting time if solo. Yes, but in response, <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll say uh, what's called one. We're learning the game. We're just starting it. I, I, I want to learn the mechanics. So I'm I'm kind of fine with uh, doing the journey of solo. So I I don't know, I'm fine with it. I'm learning, I'm enjoying it. Let's let's buy blue eyes. Is this samurai? I like the samurai and the ninjutsus, the ninjas. What's that? Black wing. All right, let's get blue eyes. Let's buy it. Now I will win. Yugi. You purchase blue eyes. Let me buy another. And another. And another. So I can have all of them. Now we go to the decks. Am I crazy? What happened to him? Did I not buy it? I was not actually paying attention to my money. So I don't know if I spent it or not. I'm going to be honest. They could have said, hey, actually, and said something first. And then I wouldn't have known. Huh. <laughs> Uh, two times remaining? Three time remaining. That means how many times you could buy it, right? Right? Oh, gosh, why am I struggling? Structured content. You 
Wait, 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 wait. So you can only buy huh? It only buy it only buys one? Look, I am not the most professional when it comes to deck building, but pretty confident you want more. I guess this is like the full deck list, right? Did it just not make the deck? It just bought the cards for the deck? Is that what happened? A deck that uses tenacious blue eyes. I'm just so crazy. Okay, let me read what you say. All right. <laughs> One copy of each card in the deck. The reason for three times. So, so you do need to buy it three times? Is that what I'm getting from this? I don't know. You can't even, you can't even buy it four times. So for certain things, you can't even... You can't even get like four of a kind. Is that what I'm learning through through this option? Am I crazy? No. It says three. So it's like say three more times. Let me read it. No, it says two more times. I I don't know. <laughs> why am I why am I struggling so much? Is this weird? Is it is it the game or is it me? <laughs> All right. Let me read what else you said. Uh, you need to play the Duelist Cup for the games uh, to buy packs that then get the materials. You want to play solo play, dual strategy for the basics, uh, plus icon. You need to enable the deck copy structure. What? One copy of each card in the deck, the reason for three times. Yes, if you want more consistent build, higher chances of the pull. Yeah, so like, I want to buy more. That's okay, so you could technically just buy one. And just have the kind of, eh, it's like, it works. But if you want it more consistent, you have to buy the same deck several times to get uh, the multiples of the actual main cards. And then you can take out the cards that you don't care. Hey, we got gems. Yeah, I, I showed it off earlier, but we did get this. We haven't used it yet. But again, I, I'm going to wait until once we're, once we're done with uh, our tutorials. We got to work for it. All right. The structure is bought, but is not available because it's not added to the inventory. List of structured decks. Now it's here, and then you add it, or I, I copy. What? <laughs> well, yeah, I, I I know the I know the UR expires. The the thing I showed off the whatever it was, but um. I know it expires, but I, we're not gonna be that long in solo. Like, <laughs> like I don't, I don't think it's like it's gonna be fine because they they show its expiration date, the thing. So we'll definitely use it before then. Wow, I got a blue case for my cards, my digital cards. I think I think when when uh, online games have like deck cases, like I get it, I get it, I like it, but it's also kind of silly if you think about it, because it's like my, my cards don't need to have a little cut. Okay. All right, now we have our blue eyes. Let's check it real quick. Now we can hold off from from editing it since we literally haven't played it, so I actually don't know what are the best edits. This, this is one of those things where once we play it several times, we can learn. And two, we can always watch because there's always some kind of video or something in there that's like, hey, this is the easy upgrade path for this deck. And so you could just do that, which there's a good chance that's what we'll do. But we'll see. Uh, shop and click the ticket icon on the top right corner. You want me to use it? You, you. Shop. Yeah, no, I, I I see it. It's right here. Cause the time for it is right here. It expires. Expires, uh, in a month. So I, I have a month to use this ticket. Which again, I'm not I'm not too worried, since I think I can get done with the the solo. The I can get done with the tutorial within a month. If not, then I'll use it before the month's done. But I, I think it's fine. We'll jump into this. We'll continue for a bit. Maybe we'll buy more copies of the blue eyes. Maybe not. We'll see. Let me actually... Can I edit this thing? I actually do want to check the power of the dragons. I want to see how many they have of, of certain copies. They do have blue eyes. Blue eyes, white dragon. There he had the blue eyes. So 
So yeah, even even this deck is probably better. <laughs> uh, Cause it has, it has, you know, it has multiples of cards that, that you would want. Not just a bunch of cards that is one. Trust me, the solo is paid. Hey man, that's what, that's what I'm here for. Oh, I picked the same deck. Look, if, if we get stuck in, in like solos for a bit, then I'd be fine with switching. Is there multiples of cards? No, really not. They just flood it with a bunch of stuff. Eh, we'll still try it. Might as well. First game with our blue eyes, Max. All right. What's this one talking about? All right, there's more than one way to build a deck. It's also important to customize your deck according to your strengths and those of your opponent. It is risky to attack carelessly since the opponent's deck takes advantage of its high defense using Shield Crusher Raigeki. Earn, uh, earned in the previous chapter to destroy your opponent's monsters. Attack them directly. All right, let's just try it. Look, technically, technically, I'm undefeated, so there's nothing to fear, right? <laughs> All right. What are monster battle positions? You're teaching me this now? All right, monsters can be placed in three different battle positions. One, when a monster is summoned from the hand, it will be placed in face-up attack position. If you want to declare an attack with a monster, it must be in this position. Two, when a set... When you set a monster from the hand, it will be placed in a face-down defense position. When a monster in face-down defense position is attacked by an opponent, it will be changed to face-up defense position. Monsters may also be changed to face-up defense position via card effects. How is Bandit... <laughs> How is damage calculated? The position of the monster is, is in will determine the value or the number that is used in battle calculations. Attack position versus attack position. Attackable monsters will be used. Attack position for defense position. The attack of the monster and the defense. It is always funny in tutorials when they like teach you something that you already know at this point. <laughs> it, it's it is funny. All right, draw the white stone of legend. Whoa! <laughs> if this card is sent to the graveyard, add one blue eyes white dragon from your deck to hand. Ooh, ooh! I do like that. White stone of ancients. All right. Once per turn during your end phase, if this is if this card is in the graveyard because it was sent there this turn, you can special summon one blue eyes monster from your deck. Ooh, you can banish this card from your graveyard, uh, then target one blue eyes monster in your graveyard and it's and and add it to your hand. Oh, so it's even like a recursion from your graveyard. That's crazy. Okay, uh, add it to your hand. You can only use this effect of the white. Of the white stone of H's once per turn. Makes sense, makes sense. Alright, what else do we got? Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon. If this card is special summon, you can add one ritual spell of polymization from your deck to your hand during your end phase. You can add one level 8 or higher dragon monster from your deck to your hand. You can banish this card from your graveyard. All level 8 or higher dragon monsters you control gain a hundred or yeah. Uh, uh, a thousand attack. You can only use uh, each effect of Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon once per turn and can only activate them while Blue Eyes White Dragon is on your field or in your graveyard. Gotta get it. Set stone. We'll do. Let's keep reading our, our uh, deals, but I will set that stone. All right. Target one level eight, seven or eight dragon monster in your graveyard. Special summon it. If a dragon monster uh, you could control would be destroyed by battle or card effect, you could banish this card from your graveyard instead. Okay. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Dragon's Fighting Spirit! Target one dragon type monster you control that was special summoned this turn. For each monster your opponent currently controls that was special summoned this turn, it gains one additional attack during each battle phase. That's pretty saucy. Additional battle phase? Ooh, that's pretty saucy. Okay, tribute one effect monster, then target one effect monster your opponent controls, send it to the graveyard, then special summon one level 7 or higher normal monster from your hand or deck. You can only activate one successor soul 
per turn. You can only act only attack with one monster during the turn you activate this card. Kind of wild how many effects they're giving us that are like, hey, cheat out this monster. <laughs> uh, so this is like level seven or higher. Does this count as a normal monster? I'm trying to see if this these two combo. So if we had a monster, we could tribute one effect monster. So we've got an effect monster and we could technically cheat that dude out. Technically, I assume. Can we even... Oh, this is an effect monster. <laughs> what? All right. So stone and is what you're saying. Once per turn during your end phase, the card's in your graveyard because it was set there this, uh, this turn. You could special summon the one. So... I could theoretically put down White Stone of Ancients, which is probably what they're wanting. I do that. I then do Successor Soul. I tribute it. And then I can put out this dude and probably the, the Blue Eyes. Right? Read the last effect. I'll read it. All right. You can banish this card from your graveyard and target one Blue Eyes monster in your graveyard. Add it to your hand. You can only use the, this effect of uh, the White Stone of Ancients once per turn. Yeah! I play down my, my White Stone of Ancients. I then cast out. Oh, wait. Am I crazy? Is this not the plan? It's a quick play spell. So I can do it on their turn. That's crazy. You want to destroy it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that. Yeah, I, I know I want to destroy it. I'm just wondering if this can affect with this. Attack means you will take damage. Set in defense gives protection. Yeah, I know. I know. I just wasn't sure if... A lot of the effects that like, oh, one or other stuff like that works even if it's face down. Like for uh, tributing or, or stuff like that. Certain stuff like that. That's more what I was wondering. Also, we'll see. This is probably a bad play. Battle! I will not swing! Wait, 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 oh, what, one thing one thing I should check, because I don't remember. If I were to swing with this 600 and it has a higher defense, it doesn't kill my dude. It only kills it if he's attacking my card, right? Right? Like, I would take damage, obviously, because he's most likely going to ha have a higher defense than 600. But, would that be true? Because you summon stone, the opponent can now deal damage to you. Yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know. It was a misplay. Correct, okay. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. All right, and then this this is the part I'm confused about. Is the tribute one? Why why can't I do this now? Is is my question? The successor soul to tribute one effect monster because this is an effect monster and it has tribute one monster your opponent controls. Oh. Monster your poke shoals. Okay, so he needs an effect monster in order to do this. Yeah. Got it. Man, reading's hard. Come at me! Ooh. Alright. That's an effect monster! Ha ha! You fool! In response, uh, select a monster as tribute. I, I followed you as tribute! Goodbye! And then select this card to go to the graveyard. You fool. Alright, and then we can special summon. Oh, I did not look at how big you are. <laughs> My goodness. Uh, technically, we want to do it uh, defense. Because, yeah, we could do a defense and then on Arnter switch it. But it doesn't matter, right? Like, it's... Like, I don't think he's putting out something chonkier. Blue eyes, white dragon! Dang! All right, and then the white stone ancients in your graveyard effects. 
During your end turn, if this card's in your graveyard because it was sent there this turn, you could special summon a blue eyes from your deck. So we say yes. So we search out another one. That's nuts. All right, this card is also blue eyes. This is also blue eyes. Blue eyes. <laughs> I get it because it doesn't say blue eyes in the top. Gotta get it, get it, get it, get it. 25, 20. I'm not reading the facts. I don't think we need to right now. Maybe, maybe we should in the future. I don't know. Just get the highest highest attack. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking right now. I just haven't seen the cards yet, so that's kind of why I wanted to look at the stuff. Jet Dragon is your ace boss. Oh, really? That's my big boy. All right. Other cards you control cannot be destroyed by your opponent's cards. Cards effects. Oh my goodness. You can only. All right. I got it. Uh, you could only use each of the following effects of Blue Eyes Jet Dragon once per turn. And only activate them while blue eyes or white dragons is on your field or in the graveyard. If a card on the field or is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can special summon this card from your graveyard if it was there when the card was destroyed or hand, even if not. <laughs> even if not, alright. At the start of the damaging step, uh, if this card battles, you could target one card your opponent controls and return to the end. You also get to just balance cards for free? That's ridiculous. All right, that's nuts. All right, let me look at the special summon. I haven't even looked at my extras. All right, we got Heretic Sun Dragon. All right, we're just going to quickly look. Uh, the XYZ, that whole stuff was the stuff I saw and I was like, what? I don't understand. Azure Eyes Silver Dragon. Interesting, 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 interesting. First of dragons, blue eyes, tiny dragon. Okay, we're not going to do it, but I just want to see. If we were to special right, we could only do that one right now because we have two level eight monsters. Got it. Once per turn, you can detach one material from this card. Tribute any number of monsters from your hand or field, minimum one. Then destroy an equal number of cards on the field. That's crazy. All right, gotta go. Battery's low. Good luck in the game. Uh, thank you so much for, for my study. I have appreciate you just hanging out and all that. Definitely appreciate it. And uh, uh, don't let your phone die. <laughs> Highly recommend you play Ranked and Duelist Cup. You need the gems. I, I will. I will. I will. I will. I will. All right. Um, we can still just play out a dude. So, like, now if I played out this dude, I would still have to, like, because it's A, I would still have to... Tribute a monster, right? So obviously we put down this. This card is sent to the graveyard. Add one blue eyes white dragon from your deck to hand. That's crazy. It's ridiculous. All right, so we put that in, in uh, face down. Kind of don't need to. Discard one card. Add up to two dragon monsters with 30 or more attack and 20 or less from your deck to hand. Dang. That's kind of that's also crazy. You just discard a card. Let me find two of my 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 dragons. It's ridiculous. And this one, target one dragon type monster you control that was special summoned this turn. For each monster your opponent co current controls. Oh, this is also a quick play. Uh, controls that was special summoned this turn. It gains an additional attack during this phase. Okay. So if I special summon something, I can give them an additional attack, basically. And this could be even on their turn. So when I did that whole shenanigans last turn, if I had this on the field, I could have definitely technically proct it. But it's more better on our turn, right? Target one, attack, you control for each monster that controls gains. It gains additional during each battle phase this turn. Yeah, this turn. That's kind of the thing. It's kind of like, eh. That's cool, but like right now it's kind of not necessary. Go blue eyes, jet jagger, uh, jet dragon, and then we can just bounce him and just do the full damage to him. No, oh well, okay. I mean that's fine. I don't know if that's better or not. I mean, obviously in the future it's probably good just to get rid of pieces that are way better. Uh, other cards you control. Let me read what it says specifically. Once per turn, you can only activate. Then one blue eyes white dragon is on your field or graveyard, which we have, and I think that's him or is it someone else? I don't know. Is on your field. If you if a card on the field is destroyed by battle or card effect, you could special summon this card from your graveyard if it was where if it was there when the card was destroyed, 
or hand, okay. At the start of the damage step, if this card battles, you can target one card your opponent controls and turn to hand. Okay. So that's especially good if you're if you had multiple dudes, if we swung at this dude, we could bounce this dude. Alright. I feel like we're gonna learn a lot from this battle. <laughs> By what they're trying to teach us. Target one level seven or eight monster in your graveyard. Special summon it. If a dragon monster you control would be destroyed by battle or card effect, you could banish this card from your graveyard instead. For free? That's crazy. All right, let's put you down. Do I want to discard a card and just and just search for two cards? Maybe. Why not? All right. Oh, I discard one card for mint. Discard that spell, and then we can grab two. Blue Eyes Chaos? Blue Eyes Chaos Max? I mean, <laughs> might as well get Max, right? It's crazy. And then we can just get a Blue Eyes al Alternative White Dragon. Okay. Cannot be normal summoned slash set. Must first be special summoned from your hand by revealing white uh, blue eyes white dragon in your hand. You can only special summon blue eyes alternate white dragon once per turn this way. This card's name becomes blue eyes white dragon. While on the field, in the graveyard once per turn, you can target one monster your opponent controls, destroy it. This card cannot attack the turn this effect is activated. That's kind of crazy. But the other one's maxed. All right. <laughs> I got too many crazy cards going on. I'm going to be honest. I don't know what I was expecting. I wasn't expecting this, though. I'll, I'll be honest. Here's the thing also, I feel like we also have like, we have several things that could pro- Oh, just targeted our damage. All right, I feel like we have other things that could just technically, uh, like if it dies or is in the graveyard, we get effects, right? <sighs> like that one's obviously, that's different. If we got that, the blue eyes, then we could get out the alternative, right? Obviously, um, but some of these, I forgot what it is, but it's like, well, it's in the graveyard or, or other things. Target one dragon type monster you control that was special summon this turn for each monster. All right. So, okay. Now I can, I can special summon this monster. I like that it glows which one I can actually do right now. That's nice. When this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you can tribute card special summon one drag type monster from your hand or graveyard except assault war. So you can't just keep doing that effect is the idea. So technically if we play this dude down and we actually kill it kill it with his face down cards, even though this guy's supposed to be playing a lot of high defense, so it's probably not it probably would be more than that. Um, we could then special summon another thing. But I think it's better to special summon this. Oh, it's eight. Right, right, right. It's eight. So I have to special summon two dudes. Oh. Bummer. Then never mind. I mean, we could do it. Did you, like, destroy this? The blue eyes dragon? Or the jet dragon? Why not? Let's do it. So we special summon. Or we normal summon. Select a tribute monster. Select a tribute monster. It still works out in that, right? Like, it's still ramping board state. There are no cards to be added from your deck. What? Oh. Got it, got it, got it. This is why we need to buy multiple, I think. All right. Right? Am I crazy? Or is it because from this? I think it's from this. You can add one ritual spell or one palm from your deck to your hand during your end phase. Yeah, that's... Okay, so that, that was the thing. Got it, got it, got it, got it. That couldn't work. Now we can activate this because we blew it up. Now we put it into exile and we get a, a blue eyes white dragon. 
Blue Eyes, White Dragon. And then we can special summon Blue Eyes Alter Alternative White because we we do it. We cast it. We reveal the Blue Eyes we just searched. Boom, baby. Is it actually bigger? This is 30, 25, and this is 30, 25. But it has the battle effect for once per turn. You can have it just target a monster and blow it up. Um, so I could still special summon, right? Okay, so special summon is just like a out of nowhere getting a guy in from a different kind of thing. And that's not limited once per turn. Got it. Uh, so is today the first time you have ever played Yu-Gi-Oh? Uh, no, technically not. Technically not. I have technically... We are going to blow up this thing. Uh, technically not. I don't even know what that was. What was it? Oh, it was a 50... 10. Oh, so this dude could have killed the Salt Warven. Doesn't matter. Alright, he has an effect. Okay, so because these guys just came down in, they can't flip. This guy can change positions. Doesn't matter. And then we go in for the damage. Jet Dragon! Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon! That's crazy. That was ridiculous. That was not meant for a tutorial. <laughs> That's crazy. The, the, they opened it up to for you to learn that. that, is, that it's kind of funny that you could take your own deck into this. Feels like feels like maybe you shouldn't. I almost feel like I shouldn't. Because I'm more worried I won't learn. I won't learn through doing this. But we'll keep doing it. Right up here we'll start getting practices. And these practices I'm a little worried. Uh, here you'll you'll use a method called Synchro Monsters from Extra Deck Synchro. So this is the stuff I don't fully understand, but we'll do it anyways. First, we got to do this duel though. But yeah, so this isn't real. This is it's not technically my first time playing. I technically won a year ago. I tried this and literally did the first two tutorials or something like that, like very early on, and then I stopped because I was like, ah, this might be too much. And then the other part was uh years ago when i was a child i played there was a game boy game boy version of Yu Gi Oh. it wasn't exactly correct but it was an old version definitely i played that and had a lot of fun then again it had old Yu Gi Oh, so it didn't have a lot of the weird crazy stuff that Yu Gi Oh is known for today um but those are technically what i played of Yu Gi Oh. this is my real first time diving into Yu Gi Oh and trying to learn it and trying to play it and do it so it feels like my real real first time playing it so i would say yes and no all right what does it say you can usually summon one monster per turn however you can summon more than one monster per turn by utilizing special summons use unexpected die call the call the haunted and monster reborn reborn from the, from the previous chapter to attack with multiple monsters in rapid position i mean we did do that previous times um but i think with blue eyes i think we'll be fine <laughs> with blue eyes max i think we'll be fine that's fair thanks what about you christian righteous gamer have you have you uh have you played Yu Gi Oh before what are special summons special summons allows you to summon monster to field without normal summoning either via the effect of monster reborn or other special methods outlined by rules special summon is an umbrella term for all the summoning methods that allow you to summon more than once per turn as long as their conditions are fulfilled unless stated otherwise on the card you can choose to place your mo your monster in either attack or defense position in any monster zone when it is special summon. all right pretty fun pretty fun <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> yeah you have i guess you have indeed all right we're still learning hey this is the one thing i needed last time right for one of these cards no it's not needed it's just you could add one ritual spell or one polymer from your deck to hand so we could have added this once this was casted fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or field as material oh Fusion Summon. So that would be one of these. Alright. One of these that actually have fusion. Then it was actually fusion. Got it, got it, got it, got it. 
Blue eyes, twin head. Twin burst dragon. Crazy. All right. True light. Your opponent cannot target blue eyes, white dragon in your monster zone with card effects. If this face-up card is sent from, from the spell and trap zone to the graveyard, destroy all monsters you control. You can only use the falling effect of true light once per turn. You can activate one of these. Special summon one blue eyes white dragon from your hand or graveyard. Set set one spell trap directly from your deck that matches blue eyes white dragon with a different name from the cards you control and in your graveyard. Okay, let me read this. Th again, this is the this isn't even like crazy crazy stuff, but like this is the thing. There's so much text. There's so much different stuff. All right, your opponent cannot. All right, your opponent cannot target blue eyes white dragon. Uh, in your monster zone with card effects, if this face up card is sent from the spell and trap zone to the graveyard, destroy all monsters you control. You can only use the falling effect of true light, uh, true light once per turn. You can activate one of these effects. Okay, I'm just I'm keeping in mind, blue eyes white dragon. We can special summon. Well, I don't have any, but we'll have to keep that in mind, because I want to. Play it and then have it just get blown up and then like I lose all my dudes. All right, target one dragon normal monster in your graveyard. Special summon that target. You can only activate one silver cry per turn. Okay, I really can't can't do it much. Fuse to summon one monster from your from your extra deck. Okay, it's not letting me cast it, so obviously I think it means that it's not good. But like I don't have the stuff to do the thing. Is kind of the idea. Let's. Let's set it. Look, I can't even attack anyways if I wanted to. Alright, so it's fine. My only gripe is that it's incredibly complex. Yeah. Which is like, that's always like a, a pro pro and con to a, to a card game, right? Like the pro is like, obviously, oh, that's good because that means you can get crazy and deep and have a lot of fun with the complexity of the game. You know, I, I know this from Magic the Gathering. Same thing. But it can be hard for, one, getting new players in. Uh, sometimes you can spend too much time explaining rules and playing the game. You know, all that kind of stuff. We have the equipment, Beacon and White. If you do not control another Beacon and White and you have three or more blue eyes monsters in your graveyard, target, target one of them, special summon it, but negate its effects. Also equip it with this card. When this card leaves the field, banish the equipped monster. Other monsters you control cannot attack. Also, if you have any number of blue eyes monsters in the graveyard, the equipped monster can attack up to the number of times during each battle. Whoa! Whoa! Calm down. Also, I think we're doing a whole lot of nothing for a bit. I'm realizing that we're not doing a whole lot because we're not drawing into monsters that we can actually play. I was a fool! Alright. What is auto? This is a continuous trap. Okay. Yeah, this is the first time we're really dealing with a continuous trap. So that's why I'm kind of struggling with it also. Of like, how do you get rid of it? How do you keep it on? And so it, you trigger it and then you can still do this. Got it. All right. Well, and then whenever they do, whenever they do something, that's when I can trigger my trap card if I wanted to. All right. All right. All right. Uh, I don't want to alarm you guys, but we might lose this one simply due to the fact that we don't have anything. Well, that wasn't a good look. That wasn't a good start. All right. I think with that in mind, <laughs> let, me, let me take a look at the deck again. Because mm -hmm. we might, we could have bought several, right? Several. And then we could get multiple of the cards. Edit deck. Oh, this is this is the cards I have. This is the cards in the deck. Gotta get it, gotta get it. So far away. I'm trying to see what would get what would you get rid of. <laughs> it's kind of the idea. I don't know. 
All right, you know what? You know what? Guess what, guys? This is not a new game. There are benefits to playing a not new game. And it's called the internet. All right. Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Blue Eyes Max Deck Upgrade. Boom. Easy. Easy. What's up, guys? Start Hello. Hello, guy. All right, Master Duel, Blue Eyes, and Max Deck Profile. Does that mean he's actually upgrading it, or he's just looking at it and talking about it? Let's go to Reddit. All right, I'm also trying to do, do, do okay. See what other people say. Try running number 97 Dragbulon and number 100 Num Numeron Dragon. That was a number dragon monster. Okay. To add, there's all the the eyes eyes rank eight. They're saying names that aren't true. See what the guy's running. I think that okay. I so the guy definitely bought three versions. Okay, which is definitely what I should do. Okay, so I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna buy three. I'm gonna have the the full blue eyes decks. Where are we growing? We're learning through buying. <laughs> so let's let's buy it. Yep. Let's buy one more. Yep. All right, now we can't buy anymore. All right, now we head back. We go to our deck. All right. Edit. Cool. Now I'm gonna take out and just put in what this guy has. Cause this guy's already like, hey, what should I add or change? And so, I'll just start with what he has right off the bat. Right off the bat, look to see what cards he probably has, and then take out other, take out, take out the stuff he doesn't have. I'm gonna trust this guy. All right. I'm gonna be honest. It's kind of hard to see. <laughs> it's kind of hard to see. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, there's a way to zoom in. Oh, God bless. God bless. All right. Thank you, Lord. All right, that does help. All right, so he has three of these. All right, how do I get rid of? Is there a oh, right click. Okay, right click is the easy button to get rid of cards. All right. Um, where's our blue eyes? Let's add those in. Someone said take taking one out, so it's only two regular blue eyes. I already, I already saw that as a suggestion. Can I add in too much and then take out what's not needed? Because that'd be a bit easier to know which ones to keep and which ones don't. I think so. I don't even know how many cards a deck can have. Like, what's the limit? Is it as much you want? <laughs> Obviously, you want to go as low as possible. And it looks like these are 40 card decks. Which is pretty interesting. He does have some cards that I don't have, it looks like. Maybe. Yeah, I see one card he has I don't have. But that's okay. We're not going to focus on that quite yet. Add those in. Looks like you do not have a one of these. Got it, got it, got it. He has a... I could also not save this in case I do something wrong. I'm realizing that there's a chance I did something wrong. Let's see what he said. 
I get <laughs> I give you advice if you need like in general. Uh sure. I could take advice. <sighs> Taking advice and following advice are different. What I was hoping to find is just based on what he built. Um, I was hoping to find somebody who's just like, hey, I bought three of the decks and then just based on that, this is what I took out and put in. That's what I was hoping to find just to start off before really trying to, because we're not really trying, trying to like full on build a deck yet. But here we are. Let's see what other people have said. Normally, free to play blue eyes, white dragon. Usually I would I would watch a video. And that's kinda hard in when you're not trying to just react content. <sighs> Excuse me. I am not seeing as much help as I was hoping. <laughs> All right, so they they gave a normal deck list. They're not really giving me options here. I mean, I can I can figure it out on my own, but that is not what I'm looking for. Not quite what I'm looking for. See what this person says. This might this person might have his deck list. Uh, ah, here's a list. Let's see. It's basically a blue eyes white dragon list, but let's see. Let's see what he adds, because it looks like this could just have. This is more like a regular deck, not not just a master duel. So this is just like a bunch of different cards that I would have to get. I can do it, right? Can do it, it's just more do I want to. <laughs> do I want to? So far, I'm kind of like, eh. Again, I don't quite want to make the leap yet of like making cards and building a deck yet. I want to hold off before we spend that much. I'm not that much of gems that I've already been given. I was just hoping for something easy, like an easy upgrade path. And that's it. All I'm seeing is a lot of people hate uh, Chaos Max Dragon. <laughs> that, is, that is mostly what I'm finding is people do not like Chaos Max Dragon. That's crazy. All right, all right. All right. I'll switch it back over. We're making slight improvements based on what we can kind of see. Do they put in a different extra? They, they even put in different extras. One of extras have their own slot. Where is it? Okay. Extras? Oh! <laughs> Excuse me. Dragon. Dragon, dragon. Rock the dragon. Dragon Ball Z. What? Okay. 
This is not working out as planned. Wait. What's the difference? Oh, showing what I have and just everything. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Got it. All right. Book to mark, card list, card history. Got it. Why oh, you are switch what simplified mode oh i i'm just learning the ui at this point i'm not even i'm not even making <laughs> changes or decisions i'm just i'm just learning more about the uh the, the ui all right the hard part is like i'm looking off of a deck list that he has based on image and not not words that's the hard part is like i don't even i don't even know what he's putting in i'm having to look at the art and be like is that this because i thought it was this for a second i was like that doesn't make sense maybe i do that Ooh. Hmm, it's seeming like I don't own the card. Okay, well, we can keep going based on what the person did and what I have and what they have. Oh, I got rid of that card. I was supposed to have it. I was supposed to do the opposite. <laughs> all right, which card is it? They all look so similar. It looks so similar, all the all the blue eyes. Is it this one? No, no, no. This is this one. Alright. Put three of these in. He has one of these. Which we already have one, so that's kind of fine. Alright. He has three. It's so bad trying to understand what this thing looks like when it's like, uh, what's it called? It's such a small image and it's not fully focused. All right, it's this card. Oh, he put in three jets. Does he not have a deep eyes, White Dragon? Let's see. Looks like no. He took this guy out. All right. What is this dude? He's a 10 power zero zero. Jeez. All right. We'll take him out. And we'll put three jets in. Is this guy? Yeah. Can you only have a th max of three cards? Oh, wow. So so in Master Duel or in Yu-Gi-Oh, you can only have three. Interesting. I'm used to other card games. There are four. That's like the common thing is four. All right. More cards that I don't recognize that he puts in. He did put in three of these. So we're, let's find another one of him. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll jake this together. We'll just, we'll just put in what we can. And then we'll chip out cards. Now he has a different card that is a spell. That I don't think I have. Let me check. I do not have it. Cool. That's cool. I like how I played the deck one time, and now I'm like, let's change it. <laughs> but I don't even have a full comprehension of what to change. Alright, he has Return of the Dragon Lords. Which I think I already have one of. Yeah, he has a lot of cards I just don't have. He has three of these, though. True Light, which makes sense. True Light seems really good. All right, so Normal Trap. That's most of the cards. From there, he also has different extra cards, but I don't know what extra cards he put in. Which makes it really hard, because then I can't be like, oh, that card? Cool. Let me make sure I have those. Like, one of them, I just don't know. It's a... What's the end mean? Normal? Is that one of the rarities? 
is just normal. <laughs> it's not even common. It's normal. Your your rarity is normal. All right, let's do this. Technically, technically, what we can do is craft the cards, especially if we look down here. The problem is, I wish there was like a uh, a special, right? Because this does not help. Can I zoom in more? I don't know, man. This is so rough. It's so rough doing it this way. It's such a scuffed, rough way to do it. All right. Doesn't mean I've given up, though. Don't forget. Doesn't mean I haven't. I haven't given up. I'm just hoping I could find like extras, right? That's kind of what I was hoping to find. The thing I'm looking for is normal rarity. I just can't. Can't find it. All right. Let's search what Master Duel has and see if we can find it. I kind of gotten an idea of how it looks. So I'm hoping I can find it pretty easily. Has a black border around it. Kind of similar to, to this. But it looks like a a like a kind of like a serpent white dragon. And it's supposedly normal rarity. I just realized this is a scroll. Oh my goodness. Alright, I believe. Let me just check uh chat real quick. Alright. Uh all right, let's see what you said. You've been talking a lot. Sorry, 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 sorry. I wasn't looking at chat. Click how to obtain for bigger view. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Okay, I see what you mean. Uh, yeah, I just play a few basic games to get more familiar first. I should. I should, but I've already... This is sunk cost fallacy now. <laughs> this is sunk cost fallacy. I, I am, I'm too deep. Now I gotta, I gotta keep searching for the thing. You mean Legend of White? Probably. I'm going to search up Legend of White. The thing I'm looking at is just so small. Uh, let me move stuff around. Because it did look like this. No, it looked like this. And that's why I kept getting confused by it. How to obtain. Oh, okay. It means how to obtain that card. Got it. Got it. Not what I was looking for. Legend White. Is it because I put it on only normal? All right, maybe we won't worry about it after that. <laughs> I'm just worried that he built it in a certain way. I'm just like, I don't know what that is. <laughs> uh, all right, all right, all right. Um, there's got to be a way we can make this as a additional deck, right? Uh, hmm. If I press save, can I save it as like a different thing? Master Duel Meta. That makes sense. That makes sense as a page. Um, is there a way to... Uh, well, I was wondering. Is there is there a way from in here... Do I do I have to copy the deck first? Because uh, this is the m messed with deck. 
I was hoping to keep keep a copy of the deck as is, as the vanilla, and then as the other one. I guess I can. Okay. I know. I know what I'm doing. Oh. Blue eyes. Blue eyes. Save. Because uh, there's also this, right? Yeah, because I could just copy it from here. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Got it. All right, all right, all right. And then, and then boom, I, I too, got it. Cool, 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 cool. All right. All right, I'm at Master Duel Meta. Uh, top decks. So yeah, this is, this is, okay. Master Duel Meta, looking on this site already, this is already what I was already thinking of. When we build a deck, this is kind of the, kind of a site we'll look at. Um, is looking at one of these, seeing what I actually kind of look at and kind of like, oh yeah, that looks kind of fun. And then messing with it from there. So we'll hold off on that one. Because that's going to take more time to actually look at. Alright, let's go back to this regular vanilla. I think, I think what I should have done first, instead of taking out everything, because I didn't, I wasn't paying attention. I didn't realize he added stuff and then took out some stuff. So I was adding stuff. Um, uh, add in where he added in, and then, and then we'll look at it from there. Uh, some of these, some of these make sense. Some of these I'm not sure. Where's the jet? Where's my boy, the jet? Jet Jaguar. Do him. Uh, there's some cards that I don't recognize. <laughs> uh, seeing the cards he he's putting in that I just like I don't know what that is. Uh, it's this card. What is it? Melody of the Awakening. It's a normal spell. Okay. Doing that. And then this is a jank way of doing it. I won't lie. I won't lie. And then where is it? It's the true light. All right. Those are the stuff that, like, from buying the the same deck over is what he also added in. But then there's others. Okay. Let's see what else you were doing. Uh, click the Mindful Gloss. What are you talking about? Who added or what? Oh, I'm just... While you're gone, I looked up a deck on Reddit of, like, I was hoping to find just a quick little, hey, the, the starting deck. Someone had gotten and did a quick upgrade. Because all I wanted to do was... Hopefully get a good deck based on hey after you bought three so that we have some consistent Excuse me so that we have some consistency um, And so I was hoping to find somebody's deck where they bought three of the deck and just built that together and then was asking Where to upgrade from there and so like I just wanted to see what cards to add and now I got to take out some cards To see which one of like some stuff like this that it's like okay I could probably get rid of um, because you want to have a smaller deck to be more consistent. Click. What about, what about the search bar? Well, the, I, I was mentioning it, but the guy on Reddit, he used a picture to take a picture of his deck list. And it's not the clearest picture. And so, especially for a new player who doesn't recognize certain cards, because they just, I just haven't played, uh, there's a lot of cards on there that I just don't recognize, and I can't... It's not focused enough to where you can't... You can't read the name of the card. So it's just... I don't... I don't know what it is. I don't, I don't know what they put it. I don't know. So now I just got to look at some of these. Um, let's see. We could just start yanking cards out. <laughs> Get crazy with it. I'm just going to look at some of these cards. See, see what I like. See what I want to get rid of. They're in the main phase. I mean, we could. And it would be a bad idea. It, oh, you could have went to public search. Oh, I forgot this this okay All right, 
Let's do this. Thick. We'll do that. For right now, we'll do it this. That was my wife let me know that I got to wrap up soon. All right. Uh, go to the master jewel meta and click the magnifying glass icon on top and type. Oh, you meant on master jewel. Oh, I didn't know you meant master jewel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or the master jewel meta. Yeah, I know. This is all stuff I didn't want to do right now. <laughs> I wanted to be a nice and quick. All right, let's look it up just real quick. Blue eyes. Oh, they do have deck types. Nice. Because I I was figuring it was just going to pull up. Uh, what's it called? It was just going to pull up. Uh, I can't think of it. Uh, just cards. I didn't know it also had the option for deck list because I didn't click on it. All right, top mains. Top extras. I see stuff. And then sample deck is what they have. And then there's multiple other decks that we can look at. Of other people using it and their win rates and all that junk. Alright. So, okay. I think the game plan is... Because we're going to have to wrap up in a bit. I say... We be crazy right now for right now, just to save time. We'll we'll mess with the deck list later. Let's let's do a tiny bit more of the tutorial before we wrap up. That's what I say. I say we do a tiny bit more, and then we we jump into it. I do have a I have a theory because I want a lot of my. I want a lot of my journey to be recorded so that we can we can be on it together. Uh, but if I do, I know in the future, I know in the future, uh, if I'm doing like uh, ranked games or whatnot off screen, once we get into it more and do more of like tutorial and stuff like that, uh, I'll be doing obviously some of that off screen and that's fine. But what I might do is I might record some of it so that I can still show it, but we'll see. The game plan is to play the... Uh, Play the event and claim your free stuff. I will. I will. I'll do that. Um, later, though. That is the plan. It is later. But, yeah. Well, well later on, I think uh, off screen, though, in be between last next time we do this, I will have that deck ready. That's my game plan. All right. Um, now I'm remembering why, why we even went to go change this deck. And it's because... We, we did this mission, and, like, I didn't even have any cards to play. Like, I didn't get a deck to, like, to start playing. So silly. But, yeah, but yeah I'll, I'll tweak this Blue Eyes deck by the time we play again. I know that much. What are special summons? Got it. I can just special summon you. Cannot... Must be first. Okay, cannot be normal. It must be first special summons. Summon from your hands by revealing. Oh, it's just because we actually have the blue eyes. Oh yeah, it's the alternative. <laughs> I play you. Blue eyes, and it has to be up because it's being uh, special. But we might as well do it defensively, since we can't even attack, and then we can turn it. And then this is the. I forgot what you do. What was it? Special summon one blue eyes dragon from your hand or graveyard. So we could technically get another one, right? Can I do that now or no? I have to wait till a trap effect. All right. But it'll be on their turn. Got it. All right. Oh, sorry. I'm going to activate this and then I'll read your some of your, your comments. Uh, use this effect now. Yes, I will summon blue eyes And I'll do it 25 well, he's not swinging let's get crazy with it Blue eyes white dragon face up for intimidation 
For intimidation, I draw. All right. Let's see what he said. All right. Go to the shop and pull your free packs. Go to settings, customer service, data transfer, uh, not layer because it has a gacha. Uh, most viewers want to see your... I, I do know most viewers want to watch my gacha pools, which means we will we will do that. I'm actually fine with doing the gacha pool. Uh, if I activate this one per turn, you can target one monster. Your opponent controls destroy it. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, I forgot. This is the one that can just blow up things for free. That's kind of funny. And then it can't swing. Um, what does you do? Melody Awakening. Discard what card? And then search up two. What would I get rid of? I have a blue jet jaguar. And I would have to sacrifice two creatures, right, to get this out? What was its special effect? I don't remember its special effect. Something about, like... Okay. You can only use each of the following blue eyes jet dragon once per turn. You can only activate it while blue eyes white dragon is on your field or graveyard. If a card on the field is destroyed by a battle, a card effect, you can special summon this card from your graveyard. I can? Then, what we do is we activate this card. And then we discard the ja Jaguar. And then this happens, which means, what is it wanting to do? Special summon one blue eyes from your... That doesn't affect it, right? It's a different blue eyes, or does it count it? <laughs> it might count it. Uh, set one spell trap directly from your deck that mentions blue eyes. Sure. I don't, I don't think that mattered. I think that was a waste. All right, doesn't matter. All right, select a card to set on the field. Oh, actually, never mind. I'm crazy. It does, it does, it does matter. I don't know what card. I don't play these cards. I don't know which one's good. Ultimate fusion during the main phase. Fusion one summon monster fusion from your extra deck that mentioned blue eyes, white dragon or blue eyes using uh, as materials by shuffling the materials mentioned it. On it from your hand, field a graveyard into the deck, then you can destroy a face-up card. That's kind of crazy. That's that's actually seems pretty good. Or at least not bad. And then we could also do trap cards. Oh my goodness, there's too much. I don't know all of these. You control that that's face up. Uh, monster is unaffected by card effect except its own. Cannot be destroyed by battle. Why not? Why not let one of my cards not be get destroyed? What's happening now? Let's get my Chaos Max since people hate it. Oh, I get two cards. I forgot. Yeah, yeah, that's this effect. Maybe I get another Blue Eyes? Probably want another Blue Eyes, I'm gonna be honest. Let's get my Max Chaos. And then let's get a Blue Eyes White Dragon. I don't know. I don't know what's everything's going on. Let's activate this though. Blow up. <laughs> Just attack when a card is, is destroyed. You special summon simply play aggressive. That's crazy. Uh attack. Blue eyes, jet dra uh, dragon. It's ridiculous. And then I can special summon. <laughs> uh, yeah, blue eyes dragon plus just another blue eyes dragon. So what I can do now, it's unnecessary, but then I can blow up these two, only because technically one of them I've already used. It's so unnecessary, but it's just doing more stuff. Why not? Was it advantageous? No, but let me play things. I activated the effect of it. I don't know what his effect was. I think it was not good. Select cards to return to hand. You can also... Oh, I forgot it does trap cards also. That's crazy. That's crazy, actually. Okay, so that's... I forgot. That's the power of, of, of the Jet Dragon. Is it also does stuff like that. Do I... Is there anything I want to play? Is there anything that matters? I could summon this. <laughs> I haven't normal summoned yet. You must tribute summon... Oh, gosh. No, I don't want to destroy two things. I'm good. I'll just I'll just enter. You're an adventurer. Change the blue eyes from defense to attack. Got it. Uh, what was your other thing? 
Hold the icon in the bottom right or the wheel on the mouse. This? 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 Alright. Your opponent's activating a thing. What does this do again? Target one blue eyes face up. Monster is affected by it. Oh, it's only a one time effect. Right, right, right. Which doesn't really matter right now, right? Special summon one blue eyes from my hand. So I could do this now. That's crazy. Yeah. For free! Uh, no, I don't want to chain that. Oh, I forgot it's also my graveyard. Oh my goodness, that card's ridiculous actually now I'm seeing about it. Now I'm seeing it affect multiple times. <laughs> it's kind of crazy because now we can get this back out. Um, might as well be a defense, doesn't matter. But this is the guy who can blow up things every single turn. And then yeah, we don't need to worry about that card unless something's trying to destroy our boy. Yeah, icon for information. Why still innovations? This card. Or, what? Yeah. How do I get you out? You can ritual summon this card with chaos form. Must be ritual summon. Your opponent cannot target. Okay, I don't know how to do that. That's out of my pay grade right now, which is fine. Blow up! Uh, and then in response, in response to happen, I will get out my other dragon. It resolves. Might as well do the guy in the graveyard. <laughs> Blue eyes, white dragon, go. It's ridiculous. Alright, attack! Uh, no. <laughs> so unnecessary. So unnecessary. Alright, I will tell you how many cards are left and uh, the combined total of all monsters. Got it. Okay. Thank you. I'll have to give that in mind and use that later on. Alright. Yeah! Take that for whooping on me last time. All right. Let's get out. All right. All right. Let's let's check out the polls. All right. So where do I go to do these polls? Where where do I go to get these gosh darn polls? We received my stuff for playing the story mode. We are sir, we got a legacy pack ticket. Nice, nice, nice. And we got our gems. All right. All right. All right. As a reward for day, we will do some polling. As a reward. So let's go to our tickets. Tickets. Tickets, please. So we do have one legacy ticket pack, which does last. Uh, but we will use our second anniversary ticket. We'll do that. Uh, you will be redirected. Do you wish to? Yes. Thank you. Redirect me. All right. A special card pack celebrating the second anniversary of Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. They can be purchased with a second year anniversary ticket. You can get one of the future UR cards with a royal finish. Whoa! We can get any one of these. Whoa! Okay. Alright. Let's do it. Let's pull this back. Move this buff. Alright. Important stuff to know. Got it. Thank you. Oh, I just pick one? Uh, I don't know. Middle one? <laughs> oh! Oh, it's gonna throw me all the packs and probably be like, pick one! Insulting. Just give me my pack. I know that guy! Kinda. I'm learning. Alright, what do we actually get, though? Bonk. Yeah, Geomancer of the Ice Bear. Oh, it's sweet. King Avatar Barong. Let's go. Yeah, we got some rares. Look at that. Stardust Dragon. Okay. Gookie Bear Hug. Nice. Oh, we got a little, little shit. Do we get a little shine on this? Yeah, we have a little shine. Look at that. 
A little shine on the border of the Maiden with the Eyes of Blue. Which is technically a card that was in our our deck. For our, uh, it was called Blue Eyes deck. So, we can technically plop that in. Uh, Paladin of a White Dragon. Okay. Cool. Hey, I like dragon cards, so I'll take it. And then Neutron Blast. Target one fusion summoned a blue eyes ultimate dragon you control. This turn, it can make a second and third attack during each battle phase. Also, when it attacks, your opponent's cards and effects cannot activate until the end of the damage state. Ooh. That's kind of interesting. And then we got Crystal Dragon. Crystal Dragon. Once, uh, once per turn during your battle step, if this card battled this turn, you can add one level 8 dragon type monster from your deck to hand. Interesting. Nice. Pick up. Pick, pick up. Yeah. Let me pick up those cards. Come on. Off to the next pack. Come on. Oh, we got an animation. That means good pulls. What did we get? What's our boy? Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon. And we got a key. I don't know what the key is, but hey, materials are always good. Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon. Okay, 25-25. If this card is special summoned, you can add one ritual spell or one polymizer from your deck to your hand during your end phase. We have this card. But now we have a shiny, cool version of the card. Hey, I dig it. Yo, good pulls. Hey, look, luckily we, we grabbed the pack that actually fits a little bit more of what we were trying to do with the blue eyes, right? Right. Secret card pack, right? Seems pretty good to me. Get powerful cards that fit in with specific themes from secret card packs. Do you want to go to the secret? Yeah, I want to go over there. I, I want to look. Okay, cool. So, yeah, this is cool. I do like this. So, if you want a certain thing, you can try to pull cards from the deck. But the question I then ask is, I, I assume this is like the, the give and take is that this is gambling to hopefully get the good cards uh, instead of crafting the good cards, right? So it's it's only really cost efficient if you actually pull the things. Uh, but since you can craft cards, you could just theoretically craft the thing you want. Um, but I mean, this is a fun way to do it, you know? Pulling cards is fun, so. Future cards, the chances are higher. Okay. Okay. But you're so you're more likely to like grab these type of stuff. So it's not like the worst thing, right? But like, you know. Maybe we'll be checking it out later. Maybe we'll be checking it out later. Four out of eight eight cards per pack are guaranteed future featured cards. So it has to be uh some of them will be from this deal. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Cool. Hey, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Sometimes sometimes you want to be smart with your, your currency and you want to spend it in the right way. It's only 20, it's, it's 24 hours only. All right. So you're saying the it changes. So so it changes per, per 24 hours. What is the secret? Uh, what is it called? I don't know what it's called. Secret pack. Is that what it was calling it? I already forgot what it was calling itself. Right? Says custom service DAS transfer. Oh my goodness. One second. Ah, secret pack. So, so you're saying, okay, so I see, I see. So this rotates out. Um, but yeah, so does it actually rotate out though? So like, does this rotate out or does it, um, what is it called? Uh, basically, what I'm asking is, will this potentially get rotated back in at some point? Because I assume so. Which means I probably shouldn't spend on it and just wait until another time, even though it's not as fun. All right. What's he keep saying? Settings? All right. Settings. Customer service data transfer. Data transfer. Transfer data to other game consoles. Enable transfer of current game data to another device it becomes unavailable and is removed from the shop oh so this is like a, a small one-time thing 
is the idea. That's crazy. I am transferring. Are you stealing my stuff? Transfer data to other game consoles. Set up transfer using Konami. Are you stealing my stuff? Are you taking my things? Is that what you're doing? If you want a pack, you need to craft a card related to it. Are you taking my stuff? Not chill. It'll save it for emergency. So I should be able to, right? I should be able to... Th these accounts should be linked, right? I can I can have these linked so that I can play this uh, with that. Because uh, I can see myself ever so often playing a little bit of Master Duel on the Switch. Um, having some fun. It's just a link to, it, to the game to an email. <laughs> Gotta steal my account. Alright. Um, so you're saying it's gone forever. Are you just saying that or will it or will it actually uh, potentially cycle back in? I gotta get my accessories. <laughs> I got this I gotta get the second anniversary bundle. So I can bling it out. If it is actually just like a, a one-time thing, that's kind of lame. That's kind of lame if it is just a one-time thing and then it's gone forever. Because that's how they get you. That's how they get you. Because I can understand it, it going away for a bit and then it comes back in later. That, that makes sense, but it being gone forever, that's kind of lame. Edit deck and click on how to obtain the uh, current locked is, is the pack you need to generate to re-unlock. Let me check it out. Blue eyes thick. Get into our thick blue eyes. Uh... Let's pull out one of these and let's put in our shiny version. <laughs> uh, where is this card? Is that it? That is it. So we only had one in there. So let's put one in. All right. So how to obtain. So we got master pack. We got pack de azure. And then sale this structure for specifically this guy, Blue Eyes Max. So this is this is what we got. We we did the the structured. Then we could just get it through just normal master packs, which is really random. And then this has a better chance, right? Save and move. Here's the thing. Here, here is the thing. Let me check time. I'm gonna have to go pretty soon. Azure is the secret pack. Once it, once it's locked after 24 hours, just craft another copy to unlock it. What do you mean craft another copy? That's the thing I'm not, I'm not clear about. I guess that's the thing that's at my deck. I can check. Yeah, I don't. I, I'm. I'm very confused. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. I'm very confused. Craft generation generate. You will see a key appear. Oh, okay. And you just need one of those keys. So we, uh, so we got a key 
from from doing the the whatever special anniversary pack so that can we use that same key for this does it work for any or is it just for specific because we already got a key Cause we got a key from this. Generate means craft. Uh, only SR and UR are needed. Okay, keys just say that you unlocked a pack. It's weird. It's a weird system. It's a weird system. All right. I am sadly, just due to the time, I am going to sadly wrap up for today. I'm not going to pull the trigger on, on doing those cards. From that pack? All right, all right, all right. Let me check. Let me check. Let me check. Oh, wrong thing. Let me check. Let me check. Let me check. Uh... I'm like forgetting where all my stuff was. All right. So here, I don't. I don't have another one though. You need to pull the other free packs. They will expire. Important. Yeah, but when do they expire? They they don't expire yet, right? Like my. Uh, the only one that will expire has a actual timer. Like the only the one only one I have is this legacy pack ticket, right? I'm fine with pulling it just to end off the stream with a pull, but this one won't expire. At least not yet. Okay, when the next pack is released. But the next pack's not for a bit. And I'm going to be playing this before then. So I think it's fine. All right. I am going to wrap up, though. I am going to wrap up. I will be... I will be uh, playing more of this. I don't know how much. I don't know how often we're going to be playing this. But this is a new journey we're, we're going on, is we are going to be playing this and going through, uh, learning it, experiencing it, and seeing how things go. So I, I'm, I'm pretty pumped. I'm pretty pumped to start this journey. It hasn't been bad yet. So that's been good. But we'll see. Go to friends. And the uh, Ricky Green Bear, this one is extreme burger. I, I did see this. It's for, that's for like inviting a friend, right? It's it's like uh, inviting a friend or someone who's already a friend and through it, both people get rewards. It's one of those, right? You have another account, you can use the code. Oh, right, that makes sense. You basically share it and then boom. Both get benefits. I, I have a friend of mine who plays, so I'm actually probably gonna bug him and let him know. But we'll see. Uh, but thank you for everybody for coming by. Thank you, Christian R Righteous Gamer. Thank you, Sunny Shine. Thank you for other people, and thank you for everybody who's watching this post. Greatly appreciate it. You already have a second account, but it's limited time. All right, I'll, I'll be. I'm probably gonna be messing with this off screen. So I'll, like, I'm gonna be messing with the blue eyes deck. I'm gonna be messing with some stuff off stream uh, before next stream. So like, we're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. I just gotta. I actually have to wrap up stream now. So thank you guys so much. I will be seeing you guys at least Thursday. I think Thursday we'll probably stream, and there's a good chance we play Master Duel. Maybe not. If we do play Master Duel, it'll probably be for a small bit, and then we'll play some other But, again, that's it for today. I'm Noah Price, Chris Gamer. I hope you guys have a good, good, good start of the new new week, and have a good day. And I will be reading your messages. Uh, so if you have more stuff you want to say, Sunshine, you could definitely send it, and I will read them. I just, I really got to go. All right. Love you guys. Jesus loves you. Bye, guys.